Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody. How are you? Howdy, y'all. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Mama. Howdy, oh. howdy. Time to put phones on vibrate. That includes Dad, too, if he's going to be participating. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, of course. And let's see, we got Helen in the chat room and What's Lori up? with all her flower-making paraphernalia. Not, oh, to, not to mention, we've got Lynn in the house. Yep, and Shelly. Hey, Shelly, how are you? Ha Merry Christmas. Welcome to Felice Naughty Dog. Oh. Howdy, howdy, folks. Hey, Mama. Hello there. So we have Helen and Shelly and Lori. <clears throat> and who else? Oh, there's Wanda. Excuse me, there's Wanda. Hey, Wanda and Kelly. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Ooh, Lucy. Dad brought me. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. How are you, sweetheart? Dadams brought me some hot cocoa. In the wrong cup. It's got a <laughs> rooster on it, but it's the wrong cup. <laughs> At least it I has the, the rooster. Out there. Lisa has the rooster. The I didn't know that. <laughs> it was the only one that I had out there. I can pour into that. I'm doing. Thanks so much, Lori and everybody. Um, the drumstick is a little sore, but much better than it was. I OD'd on water pills. So. It stayed unswollen the whole trip down. Oh, good. And um, it's a little weepy, but, you know, that's to be expected. It's a boo-boo. And boo-boos do that. Yes, So yeah, I do. Yeah, he's a They're weepy drunk. little bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm partaking of some um, hot cocoa. Ooh. Not that we need it down here because it's nice and warm down here. Yeah, hey, Tracy. <clears throat> hey, Tracy. And I just want to say, hey, Carrie P, how are you? Otherwise known as Little C. I hope you're doing better, Little C. All right. So, uh, can everyone see us? I'm going to just go out on a limb and say yes. You may want to remind Helen if she hasn't already <laughs> to go out and come back in. <laughs> Okay, now I lost my chat window again. Let me find it. Because as we know, she's on that iPad. Yeah. Why? How come she's not in, using a computer? Uh, she hasn't gotten a uh, charger cable for it. Uh, she got the charger oh, cable. She, I gave her a charger cable, but it doesn't have the adapter for Australia power. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Lynn. Lynn, I asked my husband for some hot cocoa. And I put your beautiful mug out on the counter for him to use, and he brought me this one. Oh, well. <laughs> Next, Cranky Crafters. Or maybe maybe on, um, let's see, what's today? Friday. Maybe, oh, maybe, um, maybe Sunday. Hey, we've got two Lindas that just came in. Linda McAllister and Linda Hansen. Hello, Hello there, Linda. Everybody. Hello, Linda Hansen. Hello, Linda McAllister. Hey, Hello, Linda Patricia. Squared. Hi, Kiki. Yeah. Hey, Kiki. Wait, where? Wait, hey, there's Kelly. Yeah. Where's Kiki? Yeah. Where's Kiki? Kiki's right there. Kiki's hey, right Kiki. down. Do, 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 do. All right. So, um, yeah, we've got oh, some that's... people in the house. Yeah, Carrie, I'm, I'm glad you're finding some way to reach out. Um, can uh, Carrie, um, I know that this has happened a lot. To a lot of people that I know, look for a bird. Um, when my father died, my stepmom saw a red hawk that landed in the yard and just stayed there for several days and um, looked in the window and kind of made eye contact with her. And um, I was having a particularly rough go of things, and a crow appeared in my yard and. Um, he stayed for about a week 
and I called him Charlie. That was my dad's name. And uh, I can go out to the yard now and I can call Charlie and he'll be there. Um, so look for a bird. Um, I believe in reincarnation and I believe that they, they can come back um, as another being or come and visit. So um, look for a bird. That's all I can say. Well, get your stuff ready, Tracy, because we're going to go slow. We're going to go step by step, and you'll watch us both doing it from start to as far as finished as we can get. So are we ready to start, Mama and Carrie? Yar. Yeah, I'll make it rid of my cereal. I was trying to grab something to eat. Slurp it down. You don't need a spoon. Just drink it. No, I'll gag. Oh. <laughs> I'm on camera. I'll, something will get screwed up. I'll end up snorting it up my own, my nose or something. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I have... Well, we haven't started yet. I know, but I have styrofoam. Yep. yep. Nice. That's exactly what we're going to need. All right. So for anyone who we're didn't not, see we, we the... We didn't start yet. Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cranky Crafters right here on Epiphany Craft Studio in cooperation with 70 Acres Studio. Tonight, we are going to be doing some copper wire flowers with, well, it's, well, we'll let Carrie tell you all about it. Oh, you mean I can talk now? Yeah, because now we have started. Okay. <laughs> all right, take two. <laughs> all right, in case you didn't see the previous episode, these are the wire flowers that we're talking about. It is copper wire, and you're going to bend it. Then you're going to dip it in either uh, wood glue or Mod Podge. And these, All three of these were the uh, wood glue. But then you can, once you get another coat of glue on it, once it dries, you can go back either with fingernail polish, which is what this is, or acrylic paint and paint it and then I actually hit it with some glitter and I coat them also with a little bit of uh, polycrylic just to seal it in get the glitter to stay on there without worrying about it flaking off or doing anything weird actually gave I had more actually finished these are the only three I have left I gave some away uh, along with some Christmas presents at work wait you gave all of them away all but these oh, three that man. are painted yeah um I liked those, though. Bah humbug. Well, guess don't, what? Don't... I can make more. All right. Oh, wait. I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's everybody that got them and anybody who saw them were like, that's what? That's wood glue? That w Wait, how is it staying? I was like, I, I really don't have time to explain it to you. So <laughs> Watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Mod Podge will give you a clear petal, whereas the wood glue gives you more of a opaque, which is fine. When you get some uh, nail polish or paint on it, you really don't tell. Uh, the Let me grab it. This one, I almost kind of like that it had the Mod Podge or the wood glue on it because it's a little thicker like here on the end and it gives the flower a little bit more dimension in the finished product once you put the paint or nail polish on it so it's a matter of playing with it now the one thing i noticed when i was going through and making some more because you know you sit have nothing else to do you might as well have to find something to fiddle with as if you don't have enough to fiddle with already <laughs> uh when you're using mod podge uh, you definitely want to make sure you have more than enough in whatever container you're dipping these things down in. Uh, if you have to sit there and really fight to get it covered, you start building up air bubbles. Mod Podge does not like getting rid of air bubbles, so you end up with, it's going to be hard to see. Oh yeah, I can see it. It looks like but, stained glass. Yeah, but there's little air bubbles trapped even after it dried. So, just little food for thought the wood glue 
it doesn't care. You can sit there and blow bubbles and it, it, it really doesn't care. So, just a little, little warning. So, Mama is going to be playing along with you today. Car- uh, Carrie, uh, how do you feel about training Mama B? <laughs> well, I-, I think she'll be just fine. <laughs> Mama, how are you today? How is your leg? Uh, my leg is good. I kind of o- OD'd accidentally on water pills. I had <clears throat> decided that I was going to take two water pills before I left uh, New York. <clears throat> And without realizing that I had already put one water pill out in my morning meds. So (laughs) I ended up taking a little extra water pill, but it kept the swelling down the whole trip. Um, And uh, it's just, it's a little weepy, but the swelling is down and, you know, it still stings. It's a boo-boo. Boo-boos do that. So it's getting better. Well, good. So, uh, Carrie, what do we need to get started off with these? I see that, Mama, you've already got a bowl out. Um, what are we going to do with that bowl? Well, we really don't need the bowl yet. No need to get the Mod Podge out. If we're not we're not there yet. All so, right. you're going to want 20 gauge copper wire. I wouldn't go any thicker. This can be a little alley. <laughs> trying <laughs> to get it to get in shape. Uh, wh- whatever flavor float your boat it could be the copper black mama bee i think has silver there so it's whatever you can get your hands on yeah you definitely don't want to use thicker gauge because you can end up poking your finger right into it and that would hurt i've done that (sighs) and then you're gonna need something to wrap said wire around um this is they're both about the same size uh, they're about eh, maybe just a hair smaller than a dime in circumference okay uh, you right. can do larger you can do smaller it's the only thing that this is affecting is the size of the petal so if you know what type of flower or size of flower you're looking for that's what you're going to grab to do this with now for me when for these, for that size anyway, I've gotten pretty good because I like to leave myself a halfway long stem. So if I want to group flowers together like I did with the Christmas presents, I can kind of intertwine them and then do a little fancy roll at the end, wrap them with some uh, washi tape, and it looks like a little bou- bouquet. So Tracy says she's got 26 gauge. I said that'll work, correct? should yeah because it's thinner yeah you just yeah it's thinner you yeah. might not want to try uh tight or twisting it as much because that'll probably break pretty well, easy the dead soft jewelry wires are pretty flexible without you know without breaking you really have to work hard on them and then uh be quite abusive to get them to break okay so she should be okay yeah and if you make something tonight, guys, I want you to post it on the 70 Acres uh, the, the seventy acres Studio Art Flock, uh, known affectionately as The Flock, because we want to see it, and if we see it, we will actually put it up uh, during the live stream. Hey, Andrea, thanks for popping on in. All right. Hey, Andrea, there she is. So once you get a length of wire, I'm using... Uh, I don't know, maybe sixteen inches. That's, that's what more like, she that's, said. That's that's, <laughs> that's uh that's well. <gasps> so, yeah, feel like you hearing you. All right, twenty inches. Yeah, I was about to say it's twenty more inches. Like 20 inches. All right, so that's. You should be glad. I think small things look big. Oh, <laughs> oh you know what? Nah. Ooh. Oh, that's just. Ow. All right. Well, there's twelve. <laughs> that that freaking hurt. And once you've done it a few times, and you're using the same thing to make the flower, you can start to gauge just how much wire you really need. First time through, it doesn't hurt to have extra. It's better to be able to do as many petals as you want than to oh, I can only do three petals, and now I have no stem. Hey, Shirley. Hi, hey, Shirley. Shirley. I do not see a dog. 
Just oh. just let you know. Kind of like this one. It was a little bit of wire I had like left over, so I figured I'd try it. And the stem is not even an inch. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that poor <gasps> thing. That's what she said? <sighs> <laughs> I've never said that out loud to you. <laughs> but you've thought it. <laughs> hey, Scotty. Hey, hey Scotty. Scotty. All right. So... so you ready, Mama B? Let's sure, where are we starting? All right. Since we're both lefties. Yay! <laughs> I hold whatever I'm wrapping the wire around in my left hand. That's what yep. she said. <laughs> Seriously, dude. It's enough. <laughs> then you're going to go behind what you're wrapping. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I usually give myself inch and a half on okay. the outside. Then you're taking the long end, going mm -hmm. around, and wrapping it tight. So wrapping it all the way around more than once? No, just the one time until it meets where okay. your starter part is. Okay. I usually keep my finger on it where it, mm. where it's crossing over. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take it, pinch it, and twist. And I whoop, always drop it. <laughs> And I usually do two, maybe three. All right. And there right, you so go again, dropping it. Yep. This just in, folks. Carrie has dropped the handle. And it won't be the first time. Second okay, time. Okay, so now I have third. this round. Let me try and yep. zoom in a wee bit. All right, so now I've got this little tiny loop de loo. Yep. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking for? Yep. Hey, Heather. So then keeping the tail the starter part in your mm -hmm. like you're gonna work around so this part will always be to the outside it's gonna be okay. almost like a handle for you to hold on to okay. so you're gonna take your wrappy round thing <laughs> so wrappy round everybody's thing. using term. everything so i don't know what to call it so you're gonna put it as close to your original pedal as you can okay and then you're going to bring it around and behind again okay. pinching and you're going to twist the same way you did the first time so that's why i always bring it towards me that way i remember and you're going to do two or three and you're going to have another pedal okay there's two now let me get that off all right so is that looking like what you have it yep. looks kind of like Mickey Mouse ears? <laughs> yeah, you can adjust it. You can push your pedals in closer together because we can go back and pull them further apart once we're done. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shirley said, using your left hand must be complicated, huh, PJ? Uh, I'll have you know. I, I will have you know, Shirley, that Carrie the Wonderful is ambidextrous. Yes. yes. So you're going to repeat these steps until you have at least four I usually try and shoot for five. Okay. That's what he said. <sighs> you really need to come up with a new shtick. That's what she said. <laughs> Get some new material, dude. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it works, it works, you know. But I, well, no, that's I, I agree. Debatable on whether oh, hang it works. On now, I, I, I have foo barred. Uh oh. <laughs> what did you bar of foo? <sighs> I think I need to fix this. Let's see. They're getting a little too close together. There. And now the hell why do I wind this? Diana wants to know, Carrie, have you tried stocking flowers? They are kind of done in the same way. Never even heard of it, so that would be there. a big new. <laughs> I'll have to so, look into it, though. They are... That's three. They don't seem to be laying out in the same way that the first two... 
There you go, dropping the tool again. No, I was getting it out of the loop. Oh, okay. Okay. Diana loves the term foobar, by the way. Hmm. Foobar. I kind of dig it, too. It actually came from the military. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. All right, so Lori wants to know, to are the pedals supposed to be apart from each other? They can be. They can I'm be. Trying to actually snake six. Oh, look at you. You got to put that up on the, uh, on the, on the, on the cam. I will. Um, put it right up, put it I'm waiting for people right. to catch up. And Joyce says, Carrie, we are encouraging Patrick in his, uh, in his, he said, she said, lol. Well, y'all are going to go on a timeout. <laughs> hey, I am not doing that again. <laughs> All right, Moo this won't did even not come work. back now. <laughs> this did not work. Let me see what you got. Yeah, put your put your hand in the frame. There you go. Is it because you twist it one way to make a pedal, and then the next time you went the other way That's with it? That's exactly oh. what you did, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I got to try and unkink this mess. Yeah, Lori said it's okay if they uh, overlap behind each other. Yeah, if you look at mine, I haven't straightened it out yet. This is how they started coming out as I was making the loops. I actually overlap them so that I can get the next one a little closer because you're going to straighten them out in the next step. So don't worry about them overlapping. It's harder to correct the issue when they're too far apart. But overlapping is okay. Now, let's see what happens. Go behind. And right up on it. And now I think I have to, I have to twist it off the brush. That's my mm. problem. It's not working on the brush. Lori had to end up making hers without the tool. That's, uh, yeah. Huh. What did you wrap right, the so wire there's... around, Lori? <laughs> her, fa her hand, apparently. Oh, she wasn't getting the twisting part. <laughs> and, uh, you know, every time without fail. Surely, yes, I, uh, well, I wasn't a radio announcer. I'm a voiceover artist. I've, I've actually done real voiceover work. And uh, Carrie and I did a podcast for three plus years. So, uh, yes, I, I know. I've got a, ra a, a, a face for radio. I mean, a, a voice for radio. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Oh. Here's, here's the thing with him, though. When we first started doing the podcast, he was doing the cheesy radio announcer voice. He Hi was there. How are you? Welcome to <laughs> so-and-so. And I had to keep reminding him he sounded like a douche. So he would start talking Sounds like normally. a used card salesman. Yep. Hey, now. All right, I think what I'm doing here is I'm doing the original wrap around the paintbrush and then taking it off the brush and twisting it. Next. I think. Okay, I have five petals and I still have a crap ton of that's fine you'll probably have enough that once you cut to a decent sized stem you can probably use it all right let's go on to the next part now what i do is before i start readjusting how the petals look too much i mm -hmm. take the stem and the little beginner tail part mm -hmm. and I wrap them around each other. Well, I wrap the shorter part around, and it makes it a tighter circle for the petals so that they'll actually look great. Shirley just said, very er erotic voice. <laughs> then she said, I'm just being silly. Forgive me. <laughs> there is no forgiving you, Shirley. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Now she says Hello, I look like mom. Tanya. So she's saying I have an erotic voice and I look like my mom. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Shirley. Love ya. <laughs> all right, so I'm wrapping this tail all the way around. Ouch, my stem. You're out of the frame. Who, me? No, her. Oh, oh crap. Uh-oh. 
Well, Lori then. said she's pe- she's sending me a pic to show Carrie on Facebook <laughs> Messenger. <laughs> All right. I will gladly show that to her. I am trying to wrap this around. It's the wrong pliers, dum dum. It happens. There they are. <laughs> Crap. I'm just gonna squish this. Yep, that's what I do once it gets to the end because it starts hurting. <laughs> Well, you should really nick it off. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that that came from Lori. Here, see if you can put that on the camera. That that, oh, that's beautiful. That looks yes. really good. Look at the center. That looks amazing. Wow. That's great. Keep Mine on looks rocking, like crap. Lori. <laughs> Mine looks like ha ha doo doo poo. Show it, Mama. Show it. Yours looks fine. It looks fine. The hell are you talking about? Yeah. The center is okay. going to look a little naughty, and that's fine. Oh, Kelly okay. posted a pic, too. See, now I... Pull it up on the Facebook group. We'll show it on the stream. I don't have it open, because when I do, I can't see the chat room. Well, you can resize it here. Let me... And then I can't see the... There. Yeah, there's a big mess in the center, but yeah, yours looks fine. beautiful. Here. That's fine. Throw, snap that to the left, please. <sighs> Killing me, dude. Hey, you're the one who took it off the stream. <laughs> Joyce wants to know, how was the drive, Melissa? Are you there safe? Yep, we're there safe. Cool. All in one piece, no accident. And trying to do anything on Facebook when we're streaming is torture. Uh, well, that's... Yeah, all right. Whatever. We're doing it. Give us a second. But if you minimize it rather than close it, it'll be a lot better. It was minimized. Apparently it wasn't. I thought it was. No, you closed it. Because I opened the last tab and it popped back up. Well, Carrie will show us when it's ready to be seen. I guess, or not. Not in my control. Oh, that's some thick wire. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, that is, that's not 26. That's like 16, 18? 14, maybe? That's pretty, though. I like it. It looks yeah. like a shamrock. Yeah, it does. It's very, very pretty. I don't know how the glue is going to work, though. No. I mean, yeah. Let me try it. But oh, it yeah. looks like two inner, like two hearts, almost. Living in just one heart. But, it, like, <laughs> tail to tail, like the pointy end of the heart. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, no, I agree. That's very pretty, though. And I like that. Kudos for being able to bend that wire. Yeah, tell me about it, Kelly. That's crazy. <laughs> My fingers hurt for you. <laughs> All right, Mama. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that that's that's as good as Carrie's. Oh, it's better okay. than this one because I went and did six petals when I shouldn't. Because <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, the the guts look pretty bad, but well, that's fine because you can hide that eventually this right. just in kiki scored a wedding dress at the thrift store ten dollars oh cool all right so at this point you've got your petals you've got your short end wrapped around the stem so now you've got essentially round circles to make them look more like petals you're going to take and you're going to gently squeeze them into a subtle petal shape. You don't want to get too sharp of uh, angles or the glue has a hard time staying in the hoop. Hmm. And I just pinch it so it elongates a little bit. Shut. I didn't push the bump. Jeez. 
But the snicker was there. <laughs> Mom's cheating. She's using pliers. <laughs> I have tools. I like tools. And then whatever I use to make the petals, I then take and go back around and just gently give them a slight curl at the end so that they're not straight up in the air and you again you don't want too much of a curve or the glue or the Mod Podge can have some issues staying in there and to give you an idea I did this one the other night and it's a larger petal this one I don't know if you can see See how much of a curve I have on that pedal? Oh, yeah. I dunked this thing, I don't know how many times, trying to get all the pedals to have glue in them at the same time. I finally gave up and said, I'll wait till it dries. I'll fix the curve and I'll just dunk the whole thing again. So, uh, and I left it like this so I could show you guys. Shit happens sometimes. Yeah, well. Unless right, you're so uh, unless you're one of the uh, people who have thumbed up, just like Tanya says, don't forget to thumbs up, please. All right, so I've pokeyed my okay. petals. Is that what you were looking for? Uh, I just usually take my fingers. Can you put it? There I'm you go. Working on it. And squeeze it until it gets to. But that should work. We can try it okay. that way. All right, and I'm just gonna give this a wee bit of a curl. Other way. Other way. Go down. Oh, down. Okay. Yeah. Lori asks... Uh, and yes, Lori, you will need a dish that will hold the flower um, completely. I think it might be. Um, I'm using this. It works pretty good. Cacapasa? Mm. Yes, cacapasa. What's that? I have no idea. Okay. I thought maybe right. I missed something in the... Uh, All right, so this is a very... This is a very... Uh, light curve. Yeah, that's I fine. Need, should I do more? No, that's fine. Okay. All right. Now we get out your glue or Mod Podge of choice. And is that glossy? And it doesn't matter. Uh, this is glossy, just so I could get a shiny, clear. Uh, so I have gloss, gloss luster. Yep, gloss will work. I'm um, sure the matte will work. I don't know about the uh, sparkle, the one with the glitter in it. I have it. I just haven't tried it. Is that glitter? Now, should everywhere? I cut this stem? first not yet you can if you want yeah if you see a I mean, size I got... yeah yeah go ahead cut it okay oh scotty says shit happens in spanish espanol <laughs> oh how do, i gotta i have to learn how to say that <laughs> caca pasa caca pasa hey hey caca pasa okay well, that sounds good yes know, it right? does <laughs> that sounds like a pasa is caca <laughs> Oh, Lynn posted a pic in the flock of a flower making film from the early 70s. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not stupid even going to try and fight with that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Can I just dunk it in here? Yeah, if you get if it's big enough, sure. I mean, you know, it's See, I have the little bottle. 32 fluid ounces. Oh yeah, go ahead and dunk. So I don't I don't need the cup. Nope. The bowl. See, I I had the little bottle. That's why I have it in a separate oh, container. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to dip it in there. Yep. And, like, how long do you wait? It, it can be almost instant. You just want to get total petals submerged. Oh, missed one. And see, right back up. That is freaking cool. Freaking uh -huh. Subaru. And the uh, Mod Podge will be absolutely crystal clear when it's dry. So that way you'll know, okay, it's crystal, crystal clear. I go ahead and I'll hit it with a second coat. Hey, Kimberly, how are you? The, I have a bubble in the petal. But I'll leave it. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but I'll leave it. My yeah, bubble. Fine. My bubbles. And then... Oh, it, it, one popped. <laughs> now I got multiples popping. Oh, come on now. These bubbles are forming. Yep. Told you if you monkey with it too much, you'll get bubbles. 
<laughs> I didn't monkey. No, the container is getting, it's all foamy. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, yeah see no, it. we can. It looks like, oh. uh, it looks like some frothed milk. And if it's the same petal that keeps popping, just let it go, let the other ones dry, and then we'll reshape that petal a little bit and dunk okay. the whole thing again. So now I just stick it in the styrofoam and move on to the next one? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, Kimberly says, so glad it's Friday. Kim, we so agree. Right there with you, Kim. Right oh, right there God, with. yes. Okay, so now we're moving on to another one. Mm-hmm. So if you like the diameter of that, use the same thing. If you want to try something smaller, something bigger, just find something new to wrap around and go for it. Before I, I wants to know, sharpie. did you shake the Mod Podge, Mama? No, I did not. I just was dunking it and these bubbles started. Oh, okay. Yeah, you might want to shake it. Uh, no, you don't wait, you shake don't? Mod Podge. I thought you did. No. Okay. You no, roll. You, you if add, you need oh. to mix it, you roll. Wow. You do right. not shake. Hey, you know what? The more you know. Oh no, here it comes. Because Mod Podge will not lose the bubbles. Wow, I did not know that. Alright, so I'm putting that aside. And I'm going to need more wire because this is going to be a little tiny thing. Unless you have something small. Oh, I have stuff that's small. You can make so. small petals. I can make Flowers it bitty bitty. Small. They don't all have to be the same size. And Lori is making a request that we go slow this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Grab your wire. All right. Choice. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab uh, something tiny. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll even do something smaller so I can see how that works. Hmm. Yeah, Heather, we're going to show what we're doing from the beginning. We're going to do it in stages. So Carrie right now is uh, prepping another one. Yep, we'll do it a few times because this is the first time go around for Mama B. So, so if, you, if you're ready, Heather, if not, grab your stuff and let's go. But I want to try making a small one, so I need... Where was that? Oh, that must have been in my... It was in your box. Yeah, my bead box. Just because it's taunting me having my paper bead stuff out. Okay. It's taunting me. You have pretty beads. Yes, but now is not the time. Uh-oh, Tanya just ate two cream cakes. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, Lori does say the thinner wire, uh, the easier it is to manipulate. Yes. We totally agree. Yes. Uh, yes, Shirley, my leg is starting to feel a lot better. Thank you so much. All right, so you said a, a diameter slightly less than a dime. Mm -hmm. And Sanjay just happened to have this dowel, so he cut me off a section. Nice. So I'll have that for future. Okay. Thank and you, Dadums. He's going to try and find me a... Um, out set of allen wrenches for a small one but i'm thinking maybe single petals yes lynn wants minutes. to know as she tried single petals you mean like that that would be a yes <laughs> <laughs> and this was simply an accident i had started making a flower and i think we were watching supernatural <laughs> and i wasn't paying attention to how many times i wrapped it and it snapped off so I figured, no sense wasting the wire, and I'll attach it to one and make it a leaf. So there you go. All right. So I'm trying around a handle of a tool. Yeah, I'm using the handle of a paintbrush. So we'll see how this goes. I'm using the very end of it. All right, I was get ready to just go. Sorry, guys. No, you're <laughs> just <laughs> take it slow. Well, Heather must be doing paper beads, too. <laughs> I was doing some waiting to start the show. She's like, we got 28 minutes to show time. I'm beating. <laughs> all right. So for all of you that need to start again, here we go. I'm left-handed, so that's 
the hand that I'm holding this thing in. She's you, correct handed. Yeah. So you're going to put your wire behind it. Okay. You're going to leave yourself inch, inch and a half of wire over Oops. to the other side. Put your finger there to hold it. And you're going to come around. And you're going to go until it is where your finger is. So you're kind of pinching that wire together. You're going to take and pinch where it's meeting. And here's the important part. You need to remember which way you start twisting these. I have told myself that I, whenever I do these, I always twist it towards me. So there's one, two, three. And there's an itty bitty little pedal. <laughs> Diana wants to know what season we're up to. Uh, Carrie's actually seen up to yeah. the uh, last season, but I no, am still. Um, I stopped watching. Yeah, two years see. ago. Okay, so yeah, two seasons. Well, we oh. are up to collectively. We are up to season nine right now, and oh my god, I love that show. Yeah, it only took me ten years to get him into it. Hey, I'm I'm thick headed sometimes. All right, so leave me alone. Shut up. <laughs> People working. are trying to learn. So, you've got your first one. You're going to take whatever you're wrapping around. You're going to, again, put the wire behind it. You're going to get as close to that first pedal as your fingers and the wire will allow. You're wrapping around, and you're coming back, and you're meeting it again where your finger is. You're holding it. You're going to pinch those ends and twist it in the same direction. That up a little bit. Yeah, we've got some people in the chat room that don't understand the twisting part. What about the twisting part, Lori? I agree, Linda. Dean is the cutie. My yes. favorite character is Cass, though. Yeah, I love Cass. Castiel. He's still there? Yeah, yeah. well, well I, in season nine he is. <laughs> I don't know I stopped, past that. I stopped watching. I'll have to pick it up again. Oh, it's so it, good. I was getting... I was getting annoyed because they kept killing people off, and it just seemed like it was the same shit every episode. <laughs> Meh. It's working? Yeah, it's working. I'm just screwing this up. Let's see what you're doing, Mama. Why do you say that's screwed up? Uh, because I'm having difficulties wrapping the wire. Yeah, the next one. Can we do a light colored, uh, so like the bear copper? Ouch. Sure. Cool. Okay, when I turn it around, it doesn't do anything to twist. Turn it around. My pedals are having the problem twisting also, but that's me. <laughs> All right, Lori, watch me. Watch me, watch User. me user issue you're holding it the tail is still to the same side that it was when we started yeah that's no good get it out of my way a little bit there we go the wire is behind what i'm twisting the wire on you come around you meet the wire where your finger was You're going to essentially pinch it where those two wires, where that wire is overlapping itself. And you're going to spin it. Lynn wants to know if you've tried coloring the Mod Podge. Uh, no, because I paint it. Yeah, we paint it after it's dry and it makes it glossier, shinier. Oh, a light colored barrage. Uh, no, 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 no. Will this work? No, I've started with this uh, size. Um, is this the one I was using? That might work. Can you see that? <laughs> you got it now, Lori? Or are you just telling me that to make me feel better? <laughs> Heather, is this better? 
Um, I love blue, so all my brushes are blue. Sorry. Because <laughs> that's how she rolls. All right, so let's do this again. We're starting on the top or on the bottom? On the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah. bottom. On the... Hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry. Night, Linda. It's... Night, Linda. I, ha- I have to take this. Okay, go for it. Hi, how are you? Oh, is that How you grandma? doing? Mm-hmm. Tell by the voice. Yeah. Tell Grandma I said hey. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you got them. Well, you're welcome. She likes to call during the show. Mm-hmm. She did that to me last Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Or last Friday, rather. Yeah, she's probably the one person I'd uh, I'd step out on a show for. Mm-hmm. And you have, so I have, yeah. why even say that? Hey, Moo! Oh, hey, boy. Moo! How you doing, Moo? Nice to see you. Listen to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, yeah. she's drinking. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm going to go get some more cafe. Um, I don't know, ask me that again in about 10 seconds. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Dump that out, or drink it, your prerogative, and uh, iced tea, please. Shirley, I actually emailed Rose um, and got a response. Uh, she told me that she right, well, what I'll do is, next time I'll is actually getting back to her normal way of living after having an injury and being bedridden. And she's trying to get things caught up and get back to mm-hmm. uh, things that need to get done that she couldn't do while she was stuck in bed. Right. And that she misses us all and Would you mind she'll if I try and get back to us as soon as she can. Or am I thinking of the wrong rose? I'm right in the middle of a show with Carrie and PJ. We're live on YouTube. <laughs> Listen to what I said, people. I already talked to her. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Love you too. Bye. Hey, Shirley. Yeah. Hello, you there? Yeah, we're here. Uh, sorry about that. That was my stepmom. Uh, she was just calling to tell me she got the annual box of chocolate-covered strawberries. Oh. Uh, and you know, you don't you don't ignore the, her call. So anyway, my apologies for doing that. Okay, so we're putting this on the bottom of the the um, what do you call it? Yes. The dowel. Yes. And then and we're wrapping around. Around, yes. Okay. And then where that wire overlaps, that's where you're going to grab it, pinch it, and start twisting. And just remember, whichever way you're twisting now is the way the rest of them have to be twisted. Okay, so there. That's that one. So then you're going to go to the right of that pedal, and you're going to do the same mm-hmm. thing. Okay. So how's grandma? Uh, she's good. She uh, she was just I think I wrapped this too tight. Hang on. Yeah. She uh, was very lucky in getting that the chocolate covered strawberries because. Well, she isn't <clears throat> she going to uh, Ray, uh, Wayne's or Rick's? Yeah, but yeah, she was no, not Rick, Wayne. Um, but she um, what do you call it? She just happened to be in the clubhouse when the delivery showed up. Underneath, Melissa, you went on top, so says Shelly. No, I didn't. I'm just saying I'm what she it. said. Look. Look. That's under. Yeah, Shelly. That's under. And I 
believe I went this way. Crap, now I don't remember. Now I'm confused. I don't know, Heather. I don't, I've don't. i never had a spool of wire explode. Oh, I have. Because mine... Oh, yeah. Mine's yeah. like that, so You're there's... Right frame. Like that, so there is no exploding or exploding. <laughs> hey, Janie. When you, when you start making jewelry, hi, Janie. When you start making jewelry, um, you buy it by the spool. Oh. And if you, when you make that first cut, the whole spool goes whoosh. <laughs> it just kind of throws up all over the place. Jeez. Heather wants to know how much do I cut off. Uh, it depends. Are you, like, if you're, I don't know what you're wrapping the wire around. So, like, this is just under the size of a dime. I used, um, I can't pick it up because it will. It'll pop. It'll pop on me. I used, I don't know, what was it, 18 inches of wire? Uh, 20. 20 inches of wire but it left me with a really nice long stem which is what i wanted yeah so if you don't want a stem that's super long you know it, it's hard to say because again i don't know what you're using to wrap the wire around We've got a lot of people talking about having wire spools explode on them. <laughs> so as an uh, as an engineer, as a technician, I will tell you, when you have a spool of wire, and I don't have one in my hand to show you to illustrate this, but if you've got a spool of wire, you're going to have the top of the spool and the bottom of the spool. And the top and bottoms, uh, they'll have holes in them. And I don't mean just the center hole. I mean they'll have like little holes around the edge usually. What I usually do is when I'm done cutting the wire, uh, I'll loop it around and then put it into the hole and then it'll come out the side and I'll actually feed the wire that way. That way it doesn't unspool on me like crazy. And here's the one I did with this little it's oh, pretty. Oh, look at that. So, <laughs> so it, cute. It's the little flower. So compared to what I normally make, it's way smaller. So. How's um, Mama doing? Um, I think Mama's well, getting frustrated. <laughs> you're a little Mama too low on the frame, but I like to see it. All right, it's starting to look better. There you Ooh, go. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you just have to monkey yeah. with it once you finish doing all your circles. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this tight. Yeah, that's what I do. It helps keep it in a circle make itself. Make it look like a flower. Exactly. Heather's saying she has no holes on uh, the top of her spool. If you don't have holes, uh, use a hole punch or a small drill bit to make a hole. Uh, it'll pop right through, and then you can use it to feed the wire. Kimberly, no, I haven't made anything in the jewelry yet. I've just been trying to stockpile, but then I kind of defeat it, that purpose by giving some away for Christmas. So, yeah. so I have to ask, Carrie, yeah. how many thousand eyelets did you order on AliExpress the other day? <laughs> 3,000. 3,000. Oh, cool. Yeah, I need to get uh, me some. And it was like six bucks. <laughs> yeah. Now, these are the uh, these are the no washer ones. You don't need the washers? No. Yeah, the, I don't need washers because I'm going to be using them for the paper beads. The paper beads, yeah. Um, I have to get me some of them. You should share the seller with me so I can... Well, it's um, three different sellers. Yeah. That's the stupid thing about Ollie. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But the ones that you buy a lot of stuff of from, you know, you can favorite them and return to them over nice. and over. Well, the reason it's three different sellers is because I got silver, I got... You got brass. Brass, and... I don't remember what... The, the other one silver was. brass and uh oh man i think it was two silvers and a brass because you know it was three stuff. different sellers yeah all right yeah true so. yeah that looks good There's, yeah i like yeah. it yeah and then just i don't have much of a stem but you know yeah well <laughs> suck it up <laughs> hey uh moo says if a drunky moo can press the like button so can you thank you moo all right and then you're gonna pinch the pedals or do whatever you're gonna do to the pedals. Pinch it like baby cheeks, mama. Ooh. Baby cheeks. Baby cheeks. 
<laughs> is that a cat on my shirt? <laughs> uh, this is a, it's a fox. So, like, maybe you can figure out what it really says. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Mm. I feel good. Do, 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 do. I knew that I mm. would now. Yeah, that that's tough squeezing it with your fingers. Yes. why God invented tools. Mm. Uh, I don't know that God invented them. I think we Well, did. you know. I, I think, okay. uh, you know, like, uh, you know, the cavemen did. Yeah. What does the fox say? Me, 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 me. Yeah, but no, <laughs> that's not what it says. <laughs> Diana got it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to... Roll it backward a wee bit. <laughs> right on, Heather. And Lori had given us an update. She said that the glitter or sparkle Mod Podge will not hold a seal. Ooh. And that's because oh, wow. of the glitter in it. That's good to know. Yeah, because yeah, the glitter can get sharp and pop the air bubble. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this does not have much of a stem, but, you know, that's okay. suck it up. And then Could you be just a lapel pin or something. <laughs> Take and dip away. Yeah. Dip, 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 dip. Up and down. Show it. Show it all. Up, 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 up. It's pretty. Yeah, Shirley says, AliExpress has me wishing I had patience for delivery. Yeah, we've gone out already once and gotten a couple dozen uh, in, in just in the time being, but she refuses to do any more beads. She just keeps rolling them and gluing them, but she refuses to emboss any of them <laughs> because she wants eyelets on them, and she knows that those dozen won't be enough to do what she's already made. Mm, nope. So I guess we're waiting until they uh, get into the states and then get delivered. Yes. Well, exactly, I, I, Tom. You know, you know that I had thought about that too. Is putting a little gem in the center once you're done with the second coat of glue and the painting and the ceiling. You can put like a little gemstone in the middle. It'll help hide the middle part, and it'll make it a little more sparkly. Helen says those flowers are fantastic. Are fabtastic. So when do you dip it in for the second time? Well, you got to wait for it to be totally clear. That is oh, getting okay. there. It's not quite yet. Yeah, and you want to okay. prevent, uh, you want to uh, uh, fight the urge to pick them up and go, ooh. <sighs> okay. Stop playing with them. <laughs> exactly. Because the more you touch them while they're curing, uh, the more apt they are to pop. Because, again, they are very thin bubbles at this point. Okay. Let's try some silver. All right, Heather. I'm using the chopstick. Well, <laughs> we'll use the wood. Can you see? Is, is this okay? Is this light enough? Why am I out of frame? Because your hands were... All right, leave it. Christ. I move the camera, <laughs> then you bitch. I move it again, then you're not in it. Pick one and just be happy. You can't be crafty and... Well, you can't be cranky all the time. Yes, I can. You can be crafter. Cra crafter. Craft... You can be crafty all the time, just not cranky. I won't allow it. Mm. I'm putting my toe down. Yeah, like that means anything. <laughs> and I'll just do it to spite you, so... <sighs> yeah, I think a gem would look good in there. When we started this, I started saying, well, what would happen if I just strung a bead on here before... And then I thought about it, and I said, no, that's not going to work. It's just, see, this is this is exploding. Um, it's like this one. Stop it. I'm used to being here because it's where you always You can't point it at the screen. It. You can no, never point you it at the No, you usually have the freaking, you're gonna, you almost hey, got hey, the F out of me. Don't you do that until later. 
but you usually have it so far that way that I'm usually like this so that it's in frame. So shut up. <laughs> so this one, when it was getting uh, clear coated and stuff, I must have gotten some of the first coat in the middle. And then when I mm -hmm. doused it with glitter, the glitter actually adhered to it. So cool. it's actually sparkly, like right in the middle without me having had <coughs> to do anything. So sparkle. <gasps> sparkles. All right, so let's try some silver this time. It's so sparkly. Oh, uh, so Heather went to go get food, so I'll wait. Oh, uh, alrighty then. Well, I'll cut another one. Cut it up, Mama. Cut it up. I need to Just measure. do it in frame. Shut up. I can't get no satisfaction. All right, I'll zoom out. Just realize, and this goes for both of you, I'm doing this for your benefit. People mm, will like up. it more if they can see it. Here's the thing, though. All right, so I'm, I'm trying to like focus on what here. I'm doing. I'm not worried about and I, you. I'm, that's why I moved the camera, so you wouldn't have to worry. Yeah, but how many times did you complain that I was back here too much? I didn't realize you had moved the camera. Because <laughs> you weren't listening to me. <laughs> well, that's a given. When you're doing it like this, I'm going to have to put the camera right there. Bite me. <laughs> Cranky crafters! <laughs> hey, Shirley's in my table. She says men are smart. Um... <laughs> Yeah, when it comes to bringing in groceries and stuff. Oh, what the <laughs> hell, woman? It's not even Finny. It's not Finny and Ugh. <clears throat> so hubby went and uh, cut me a, a dowel. So this is going to make a bigger one. And that actually looks but... the same size as Carrie's. Mm -mm, that's bigger. It... Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well. Well, he, he found this dowel that was just under a, the a size of a dime. And he said, well, that must be what she wants. So I said, okay. <laughs> so he cut it. Yeah. The bigger petals are cool anyway, so they, okay. they make pretty flowers. Oh, yeah. They, they're they gorgeous. Yeah. All right. So, so I'm always starting the same way, mm -hmm. hopefully in frame, with the long tail on the top. Mm -hmm. And then grabbing... That yeah, that happens to me too. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I Kiki wants to have a conversation with me. Apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, so. you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> smack me one more time, and I'm just gonna, <gasps> I'm just gonna scream and run away. So. Um, All right. So now I'm holding the second one. We are talking are you trying about to say the something, things PJ? that we are doing. I know, but Joyce had a question. Okay. Okay, so jo uh, jo uh, Joyce wants to know, how was the house hunt? We went and saw a house yesterday, and uh, it turned out to be a rehab loan. Well, a rehab loan uh, essentially means that it's a 203k mortgage. Uh, it's essentially you, you're paying for the price of the house, then you have to have the work uh, quoted to get it livable, and uh, then you've got to have a second quote. And rip uh, off. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's not that it's a rip off because you can have your own vendors come in, you can have your own GCs come in and, and do the work. Uh, the big thing that makes it a rehab on this one is the fact that it, it, it doesn't have a, a stove. It doesn't have an oven. And you'd think being a bank-owned property, property, they would spend the 100 bucks and get a stove in there, and then it wouldn't no. have to go under the rehab loan. But uh, right now, it uh, looks like if we were to get it, it would be like 1200 a month mortgage. Um, no. So, and that's Not with 3.5% down, and we've got significantly more than that. So, uh, we did. Uh, I, I did talk to my uh, my mortgage broker today, and he did say that yeah, well, just because it says 3.5 doesn't mean you can't put as much as you want down. Uh, it's just 3.5% minimum. So we'll have to uh, play with the numbers. Play with the numbers, because I, I got to tell you, three bedrooms. So we'd have uh, bedrooms for both of the kids. Uh, slash a guest room for Kelly because he doesn't live with us, and then our bedroom, 
And then the entire bottom floor is a, it's a split level house. And the bottom floor is completely finished, except for one room that would be perfect for, for a workshop. So it doesn't need to be finished. Uh, you know, washer dryer in the utility room, workshop, studio with uh, all the computers in the office and, and all the art supplies. I, I think it would work, but um, we're not too, you know, we're not set on the numbers right now. If we can get the numbers down to where we want them, yeah, we're definitely going to uh, look at it more. Let me let me tell you about bank-owned properties. The, the banks don't give a shit about the property. They care about the money. And they care about selling. They don't give a shit about haggling or negotiations. <clears throat> they want their bottom dollar, and that's the end of it. Yeah. Um, and they don't care, you know, how they go about getting it. Uh, if you remember, the house in Satoka was a bank-owned property, and it had been abandoned for three years. It had been vandalized. There was no stove, no refrigerator. Um, it was an absolute disaster. Oh. So the bank didn't want to deal. We ended up getting 2000 off because there was no stove, and it said that it did have a stove. Yeah. But somebody had stolen it in the interim. Oh. So yeah, it, don't don't. I would, if at all possible, avoid um, bank-owned properties. I mean, they can be a great bargain. Well, yeah, and then I'm, to, I'm a handy guy. I can do the work myself. But the stuff needed to be livable. Like uh, you know, I, I right now all the carpets have been ripped out, and uh, there's just uh, you know there's just uh, subfloor. And so, you know, we were going to, if we were to get it hypothetically, we were to, you know, put uh, tongue and groove hardwood or laminate uh, in the living areas and then the bedrooms would get carpet and padding. So, um, you know, we were thinking about, well, we can do that, the, you know, the, the week we get the place, if we get the place and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, we've, we're thinking about all our options, but because it's a rehab loan, that would be a part of the mortgage so it's it's a good it's a good thing and a bad thing um it's a really good neighborhood really quiet really you know just pleasant to be around at 6 30 on a fr uh, thursday you know it was just totally quiet and you know a couple parent you know, a couple no subarus yeah no subarus uh, a couple people had their dogs out and just walk into town and you know it was just a really nice rural neighborhood so um one thing yeah. you'd have to do is six foot fence around your property because you're we already plan on it yeah um and another thing is um with that house you don't want laminate the new and laminate is actually nice as long as it's the tongue pj and stuff. can you listen to me for a second yes you don't want laminate and i would try and steer you clear of hardwood and in the direction of like porcelain tile because your dogs will destroy a hardwood floor they will most certainly destroy a laminate floor the, we're, you, we're, we're fine thank you we're not getting porcelain in our in, in our uh, living room <laughs> <laughs> well you want something hard wearing yeah you don't no, want to spend you don't really want to spend stuff. yeah but you don't want to spend 20 grand on hardwood flooring and have the dogs you tear through it in in very short order. Yeah. Unless they keep their claws. Yeah, unless you keep their claws very short, and put booties on them. <laughs> okay, so back onto this one. I have my second pet, my first petal here, and now I'm doing the same exact thing. I am wrapping over mm -hmm. and down. And now. Remember to twist the same way. So did you do it towards you or away from this you? This went this way. This went this way. So this has to go this way. I think. Okay. All right. Yeah, this one went this way. This one went this way. Yeah, okay, I think I did it. Mm-hmm, looks all right. Come on. 
Wow, Wanda said she got a house, a bank-owned property for forty-six thousand. That's nice. Well, Lynn yeah, says it, she got two of them, both <laughs> of them next door to the house she lives in. Son and daughter, or daughter and son-in-law live in one, and they use the other one for storage. Wow, can we move yeah. next door and we, <laughs> you know, we move in with you? Because that would be cool. Yeah, you, it's it. You you can get a real a real gem, or you can get a real, you know problem remember i was telling you when people know their house is in foreclosure oh, yeah. they think they think nothing of flushing a 50 pound bag of cement down the toilet um you know or a you know five gallons of yeah used motor oil down the sewer so well it is uh it, it is city sewer and water it is uh, uh you know i mean there are we, we took a good look at it and th you know there are some things that need to be taken care of uh yeah. like the water heater needs to be replaced uh you know the hvac system probably works but not all that well because it's the original 1993 hvac system um you know i mean it does need work but the stuff that i saw wasn't wasn't anything that i knew i couldn't do myself so i think if you are a handy person uh if you are you know, if you do have a reputable uh, home inspector, which, you know, I've, I've got one on recommendation that we're going to be dealing with, uh, you know, I think it is a good idea. But if you have any concerns about not being able to do the work yourself or not having the money to pay someone for it, then it's probably not for you. Or even if it's, you know, everything looks good until you get the home inspection, and even with knowing that it's a rehab loan and you're going to be getting it fixed, if it's too much you just walk away yeah we we did verify we could walk away at any time until we actually take ownership so what's the deal you have to pay to have it rehabbed no it what they do is they will have however many gc's come in they'll put bids in we go with whichever one we want um and that amount goes on to the price of the uh, home loan or mortgage I guess and so we're paying to have the work done but it's our house you know and the depending on what gets done you're you know if let's say the kitchen was totally gutted and had to be replaced and that got put on there you know you're you're building equity into the house and you haven't even moved in yet yeah so Lori just sent us a picture on my Facebook. Uh, Carrie, you want to show everybody? That's nice. Oh, that's pretty. That's really nice. I like the petals. They're nice and symmetrical. Mm -hmm. I seem to be screwing up here. Well, stop it. I'm not in your way. These petals are just... All right. Both Tanyas love it. <laughs> That's right. We've got two of them. They're not drying very They're well. They're getting there. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's not very tight, is it? I would unwrap. Tweak these a little.
Yes, Lynn, do not play with your pedals. Hey, that's my job. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki's got a question. She says, Carrie, have you seen where the petals are really small and nail polish is brushed across the opening? Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of um, fingernail polish. I did use fingernail polish the first couple of times I did these, but the smell of Fingernail polish just drives me nuts, so See, I, I wouldn't I like even it. try it. I like it. But I have seen it. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, Jacqueline's in the house. Hey, Mary. Hey, Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Her craft room is in the basement, but she drags stuff to the kitchen table a lot. Yeah, it makes sense. See, I plan on putting it in the basement if we have an opportunity to, uh, to depending on where the house is and whatnot. Um, and we're going to have it very well lit. It's going to be where the studio is, where we're going to record. So it'll have to be very well lit, and I think that'll take care of not needing to go up to like, the living room or the kitchen. See how the bigger petals are? It it definitely makes for a pretty flower. Yeah, I have of kind of <laughs> different sizes here. Well, it's all right. As long as they're not too sharp, you should still be able to coat it. I mean, if you look in nature and look at flowers, their petals can be oddball sizes. All right, let's try this. Nope. Yeah, Kiki mm -hmm. says it's still a weird feeling being in the basement. Uh, dank. Yeah, we well, do. if it's a finished basement, it shouldn't look like... Any well, with the house that we looked at anyway, it with it being a split foyer, the, the basement has really good-sized windows in yeah. it, so there's a lot of light. Yeah, I really liked it. I, I mean, I'm sure we can find something else, and we're still going to keep looking, but that one was very nice. Never buy the first place you see. Thank you, Mama. I don't know how many houses we saw, both here and up in New York. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Lori. That's what I do. I twist whatever I have the wire around. I'm trying to get a couple of drips off of this. It's a good idea. Yeah, no, I mean, we're not even pre-approved yet. We, uh, My credit score jumped by 30 points today, so I'm really oh, in, in, the, in, the, in the positive direction. Uh so, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about that. That means when he pulls my credit again on the 8th, uh, it'll it'll show that. And uh, then we'll be perfect. We'll get really good rates. And if you guys are using Mod Podge along, I didn't mention this earlier, with the Mod Podge, uh, you can do, uh, when you go to do the second coat of the Mod Podge, you can either dip it back down in there or... Uh, I usually just take a paintbrush and hit it. That way it's not getting in the center of the okay. flower. Unless you want it to. It's up to you. And I have noticed with the Mod Podge, it doesn't hurt to do a third coat because it's a little bit thinner and uh, takes a little bit more to build up than the wood glue does. Okay. Lynn wants to know, why is your Mod Podge so foamy? <laughs> no, it, I don't know. You weren't supposed to put anything in it, Lynn. <laughs> Hers is just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that why it's foamy. That was an foamy. accident. Uh, I did not shake it, but it did travel and it did change altitude by quite a bit. I went from sea level to uh, like 2,800 feet. Desperately trying to get this wire to go into the damn styrofoam, and it don't want. It. There we go. Let's look at that first one. It's almost clear. Yep. Oh there. wow! Look at that. Not quite ready for a second dip. No, not yet. 
Yeah, Lynn says altitude would definitely do it. Yep, well, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline's son sent her an LED for, floor lamp for Christmas. He doesn't know he, that she opened it, but the Amazon box was ripped badly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's only fair. He probably peeked at the present you got him for Christmas when he was a child. So, hey, <laughs> back. I know I did. I yeah, I used to be able to completely unwrap a present, look at it. <laughs> That's where I got it from. All right. Yep, indeedy. I could peel the tape off. Nothing. I, there was no damage ever. <laughs> I was like a forensic scientist. <laughs> I have to get a piece of plastic wrap to... Uh, this cardboard is soaked. That came on the lid. Um, and they say to put plastic wrap over it before you close it so I'm going to discard the pl the cardboard Heather was a pro at that too yep gift forensics all right let me go put this in the garbage I'll be right back guys See, this is why I moved the camera. That's okay, Joyce. I can't dance. Okay. I need water. I've got coffee, but that doesn't much help you. It sure is tasty, though. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Mary actually learned to pick locks just to get a look at her presence. Mm. Yep. Just because I haven't done one in wood glue, might as well. Wow. That's actually what I was uh, referencing, Lynn. That is Genesis. Uh, the singer's name is Phil Collins. He's also the drummer. The keyboard player is Tony Banks. And uh, the guitar and bass player, uh, in the studio anyway, is uh, Mike Rutherford. Hey, hey. Lori says that is just so pretty, Carrie. Yeah, Thank I like you, that. Lori. Mine don't come out See, looking like that. When I when I don't have to try and talk and show things, <laughs> I can do much better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, that's twenty gauge. Heather wants to know if uh, smaller or higher gauge wire is advisable. Uh, well, twenty gauge is a really good, comfortable medium right there. Uh, if you go eighteen, even to eighteen, the wire is going to be really thick and harder to work on. Now, like uh, you know, you know, likewise for the other end of the spectrum, uh, if you go too high, uh, like twenty two, twenty four, it's going to be rather thin and easy to break if you twist it. Uh, so yeah, twenty gauge is a happy medium we've found. But yes, you can go uh, lighter or heavier. Which do I prefer using? What prefer using of what? <laughs> Wire gauge. I've I'm, only I'm used guessing. the 20. Okay. Well, you know, you used the 22, didn't you? No. Okay. It was floral wire that was 20 gauge, oh, and yeah. that was Owie. 
Oh, glue. Um, they both have their pros and cons. The wood glue will typically, um, when you dip in there for the first time, you can almost always, unless you have a really wonky shaped petal, it will almost always come out in one dip and you'll have all of your petals filled. Uh, the Mod Podge can be a little more finicky because it's not as thick as the wood glue is. But the Mod Podge dries absolutely clear. So, you know, there's pros and cons to both. And well, this is this is 26 gauge. Maybe I'll try a flower in this. Yeah. See if it works. Let's yeah, do it. Try it. If I had okay. other stuff, I'd try it, but I only got 20. I've got to fix that for you, Carrie. I know. I know. I wasn't hinting. I was simply <laughs> stating. <laughs> Certainly uh, will be easier to work with. The, when I first started making these Jacqueline, I'm, I'm not used to working with wire, so I don't know if I'm a good person to even ask, but my fingers got so sore the first time I made these because I didn't just stop at one. It's kind of like Pringles. Once you pop, you just can't stop. <laughs> well, I made like four or five in one night, and again, I wasn't used to dealing with wire, and the next day, my fingertips were a little, little tender. But now I can sit here and just go, and it's fine. use the same size dowel Tanya says she has PVA glue oh, at home. PVA wood glue yeah well yeah yeah don't try Ooh. Elmer's Elmer's will not work no no she she tried three or four flowers like that No problem, Tanya. So happy Friday, everyone. I want to remind you, and, and Saturday for all you, uh, you know, you, you uh, people from foreign lands. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to remind you guys, epiphanycraft.com is the one-stop shop for all things carry. Uh, not much has changed. As a matter of fact, nothing has changed <laughs> since the last time I pimped it out. But it will be updated in the near future. I am actually writing a how-to blog on how to go about streaming on YouTube for uh, artists out there. Uh, yeah, and uh, you can also go to uh, Facebook.com and uh, do a search for 70 Acres Studio and uh, check out Mama B. We are going to be working on a website for her in the next couple of weeks. Yay! Because I've been told I have to. <laughs> And then I can have my own affiliate link and all that happy yeah, stuff. Yeah, there you go. Mm, carpal tunnel sucks, Jacqueline. I'm sorry. I was starting to get it before I got my mechanical keyboard. I love that damn thing. What is a mechanical keyboard? You remember the uh, old IBM PS2 keyboards? That make yes. the clicky clacky sound. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, those are mechanical keycaps. Uh, they used cherry uh, cherry brand keycaps back in the day, and um, they actually are bringing them back out. They're bringing them out as luxury or gaming keyboards. But anytime you see one with uh, mechanical keys, they're always worth looking mm -hmm. at. They are so comfortable, and they do not fatigue your arms like uh, your uh, your membrane style keyboards that we all use. Carrie and I both have a mechanical keyboard and man just talk about flawless typing well this is certainly much easier to wrap that's for sure <laughs> riggity riggity wrap yo yo oh not that type of wrap okay no mama don't like no wrap yo ma what's up dog hmm Bite me. <laughs> Why you be so mean? Why you frotting, yo? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, this is... Yeah. Um, okay, I can do that. Oh. Let's see. It's very thin, that's for sure. But will it have enough yeah. for the surface tension? There you go, Tanya. I just put the link to the website in there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. My hip is screaming. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll put a link in the chat room for the <clears throat> keyboard that Carrie's got. It is really nice. <coughs> I can't wait to be off these antibiotics to kill in my stomach yeah, and my okay. brain. Mm. This is very thin and of the delicate nature. Let's see hey, Carrie P is still here. Good to see you. Nothing wrong with lurking. I tend to do that a lot. If I know I'm not going to be able to type, but I want to watch, I'll just sit there and do whatever I'm doing along with it. Yeah. See you, Scotty. See you, Scotty. Have a good day. Bye, Scotty. There we go. Well, we got. There you go. Coverage. Oof. Oof. I probably won't be able to stab it in the hmm. styrofoam. This stuff is not strong enough. Kind of like one of those uh, poppies. It's very, very delicate stem. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Oh, I got it to go in. There we go. Okay. Uh, please explain the Amazon thing to me. I, I don't know exactly what you mean talking about the affiliate link oh uh yeah basically uh you go to amazon.com using the link that we have uh in uh the chat uh and uh well when you put something in your cart and buy it you don't actually pay any extra but because it knows that we sent you there it gives us a little bit of a kickback uh you know it, it's a couple dollars you know uh, a, a month if we it, it doesn't change what they're paying we just get a percentage yeah, amazon just yeah amazon just gives you a little bit of an advertising commission for sending the people to amazon that's yeah all. so yeah. It, is this still not yet ready for second dippage um that one pedal still has a lot of weight on it yet i would okay. give it a couple more minutes okay yeah, Jacqueline, that's what I was thinking. The journal that I made, I was thinking I might use some like on the cover. But I'm I'm a little afraid that having the having them on the cover, if I'm actually trying to write or do anything in the journal, they're gonna get smushed and cracked and probably fall apart. So I don't know what to yeah, do with yeah. on that. Yeah, that's why I don't think I'd put them on a I don't know where I I think you just have to like what was I envisioning? Um, you know how like people hang wind chimes, mm -hmm. but if you could take like a piece of pretty decorative chain and just hang it, like take three of them in three different lengths and just hang them from the ceiling, you know, you have, a, you have a ring and you hang different sized pieces of chain and then... And then if you wired all of these flowers to it, mm -hmm. as long as it was somewhere where it got a light breeze, that might look real pretty when the light catches the Yeah, the it would almost look like a flower, hanging flower vine or pot or something. Yeah, yeah. Your computer is being a freaking tool right now. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor. See if you can click on that text link up the top left. 
If you can, copy it to the clipboard, Up please. at the top left. Top left, where it says text, image, text plus image. Oh. <laughs> Might have to refresh the page. All right, I did. I got the link, so cop. Yeah, please. Thank you. Are you leaving, Kimberly? Have a fantastic holiday. Night, Kimberly. Night, Kim. Police naughty dog. <laughs> All right, this right here is the, whoa, that's the wrong link. I clicked on what you wanted me to click you on. You clicked on image. I've never done it before. Give me a freaking break, dude. <laughs> Cranky ass. You don't like it, do it your damn self. <laughs> All right, this link I just put in the, cra in, the uh, in the chat room is for Carrie's keyboard, the Logitech G810 Orion. It is a mechanical keyboard with RGB, red, green, blue keycaps. So uh, it can cycle through those colors in any way you want, and it is amazing. Um, now, if you just want something a little cheaper, you can get the G610, which is the version I have. And I life. needed the pretty lights. Well, of course. You needed the pretty. So I'm going to find a link to my keyboard. And I'm going oh, to... Oh, those lights change color? Yes, yeah, they you, do. You can pick any color in, in the world and it'll do it. You can make it change so it looks like it's breathing. It like pulses or it does rainbow. Oh, come on. You can do all kinds of crap with it. That sounds cool, but I get paint all over it. I'm very careful careful with mine <laughs> yeah like we cringe every time we see your mouse and keyboard mouse. Uh -huh. huh. yeah that's why i get the cheap keyboard yeah i'm kind of holding off waiting for you heather <laughs> oh you could do purple caps ca uh, jacqueline yeah because there's leds under each key so that's what makes it colored yep you can pick any shade of purple you want any shade of red, green, blue, which is pretty much anything. And you can even have multiple shades of purple all at once. All in what you want to do. Very cool. My leg is not happy. I think my, my I have a pain patch on my hip. Ooh. And I, th I think it has, it's worn out its usefulness. It's t time for a new one. My hip is very, very aggravated. Oh, God. oh that's thanks. Yeah, Tanya says they don't ship to Australia. Uh, that's the problem with Australia. You guys have Amazon, but it's very, very limited because of all the regulation. I've actually had a lot of Australian friends actually uh, have stuff shipped to the States and then their mate here in the States will pick it up and just, you know, ship it over there. But it's quite expensive. Mm hmm Yeah, but it's one way to get it. Yeah. Uh, Apple laptops have lighted keys. Just because they're backlit doesn't mean they're RGB. Apple does not do RGB lit keys. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, more importantly, backlit. it's a chiclet style keyboard, uh, yes. which is very non ergonomic. Uh, when you type, you don't want to have your hand like this. You want to have your hand like this. So when you're typing, you type like this and your arms are elevated. So it's more ergonomic and uh, it, your, your wrist fatigue just disappears with these because with uh, membrane style keyboards like this small little guy I've got here, these are also chiclet keys, uh, you've got to push them down all the way to make a connection. So your fingers get used to having to do a lot of pushing, whereas with the mechanical keyboards, you only have to put the, the key down about 60 to 70 percent before it activates as a key press. So you'll learn to type lighter and it makes you quicker and it makes, like I said, it makes the fatigue just disappear. All right, so Heather's saying no need to wait on her. That's I what replays are for. I saw that. Oops. 
I won't see it right away, Lynn, but we'll probably see it tomorrow and we'll get paid uh, probably 40 cents. Uh, you know, for uh, it, now, granted, if you, if it's a really expensive paint set, we'll probably see like you know a dollar or two or whatever. Um, hey, any little bit is appreciated. Exactly. Thank you. Yes, thank yeah. you, thank you very much. But we'll usually see the money in about a month and a half. But it all stores up, and you know, you keep going, you keep going. You're going to see it on a, on a monthly basis. Um, yeah. And. I have a friend at work. I her nickname is Trouble. <laughs> I I gave it to her, and uh, we were uh, her and I were assisting our department decorate for Christmas, which again, bah hum, humbug and all that stuff. And crazy woman brought in her big kick. Oh God! To finish off some stuff while she was at work, so she was getting paid for doing this and I don't blame her on that part well yesterday she left and left it what there oh my god I didn't I didn't know she had left it there and uh she came in today I get there like an hour before she does and because heaven forbid she get there at 6 30 like I do uh she comes in she uh, she says hi and she walks past and all of a sudden I hear oh no they didn't and um she's crazy and whatever so I'm just working she comes back around the side of the the my cubicle she was like did you see there was a oh my god did you see a plastic bag and I'm like (laughs) what are you talking about and she starts mumbling and walking away and I'm so I finished up what I was doing and go over and I'm like all right what are you talking about and she was like i brought in my big kick yesterday and i le- my hands were full when i was leaving so i just kind of left it here in a plastic bag under my desk and now it's gone and i'm like well that's on you there crazy woman you shouldn't have left it here and i was like the stuff walks off here i mean i had my phone charger just disappear and that was just a phone charger you know do you really think something like that's going to stay when you know there are nothing but petty women that work here <laughs> come on <laughs> well she she just started losing her mind and it turns out that another lady that was also helping decorate had seen it under her desk and took it with her when she left so nobody would walk off with it but didn't tell her because she was trying Oopsie. to teach her a, yeah well she was trying to teach her a lesson of don't leave stuff like that <laughs> out yeah don't leave anything of value laying around because yes. it will grow legs oh yes i was like if i'd have known it was there it would have gone home with me and i would have held it hostage yep because right, i want i want one and i'm sure i'll change my mind when i actually get one <laughs> it'll probably frustrate me Oh, I have one. It's still in its box. That one doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah. One of these days I will open it up. and Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> there. Turn out. Get this crap. All right, this one's looking pretty sad. Don't spread out, Dagnabbit. I like that. Heather says, I'm free again. Hmm. And that's good, because I was waiting until the price dropped so I can afford her. (laughs) Is the stem made first or last? It is made last. Well, you kind of start with the stem. Because that's what the wire is to begin with. Yes. So, ah. Well, we were both right. 
Because you end up having the stem. Yes. Yes. At least that's how it was for me anyway. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And Happy Hanukkah. Mm. Happy Quinter. Merry Festivus. Festivus. Feliz Naughty Dog. Yeah. That's what I like. Feliz Naughty Dog. Fleas on your Naughty Dog. Whoa. Mm. Uh-oh, she's going to dump it again. I'm dumping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why for you no dump? <laughs> oh, good one, Dad. Good one. I'd I'd high five him so hard right now. Mm-hmm. I'm happy. There. All right. So there's a, a other one. It's Purdy. And now back to Carrie. What about me? Oh, I'm just focusing the camera back on you. Mm. One thing I've noticed is doing really small ones are it's hard. The tedious. Well, it's it's difficult because even with this being smaller and you're getting smaller, it gets so small it's it gets hard to. Yeah, it's finicky. Yeah, very. <laughs> oh, hey Jacqueline. Jacqueline, if you've got an air fryer you're not using, you can always send it my way. Oh, we have the air fryer. We have the turkey fryer, but it's an air. Ooh. Oh my I, god, I, does that work good? I want one so bad. I think you've had chicken that we've had out of it. Oh, really? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Well, do you keep it at the farm? Yeah. Cuz I've had your pressure cooker, chi your Instapot chi chicken. Oh, I love my oh, I love me my Instapot. So I don't think Sanjay brought the Instapot this time. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm calling it now, and, and I want to make this official, so I'll put the camera on me for a little bit. As a housewarming gift to mm. anyone who wants to send it, mm. an Instapot would be much appreciated. Oh, jeez. The I, seven function or the nine? Um, <laughs> hey, I, beggars can't be choosers. I, uh, I love the idea of having a pressure cooker that works like a, uh, like a slow cooker. You know, you just plug it in, out of the way, and you just fire it up. It's, it's amazing. So can this be um, dunked again now? I think so. What I would think, almost, Harry? unless you want more of the Mod Podge built up in the center, you might want to switch to a brush, unless you don't care. It's up to you. Hey, Pam, how are you? Merry Christmas. Hello, Pam. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Festivus. Just don't, if you're going to use a brush, don't yeah. push hard or you'll bust straight through it. <laughs> hey, that's what she said. Uh, hey, I've given you a break on that one. Yeah, but you overdid it in the first 30 <laughs> minutes of the show. Yeah, that looks very nice, Ma. I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that the brush doesn't hit the film. It just hits the wires. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it. See if I can't get this one pedal to actually take. Take me. Take me. That's. Oh, it's too big, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, if you need a bowl right, or a pot or... Okay. Right, second coat is on. Stick that one over there. We need to have some uh, pouring music. What say you, Bob? <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. That's really the most fun <laughs> part of it. <laughs> I love Bob Ross. I am... Dancing with the devil right here. There's still quite a bit of white on this. Ooh, Carrie got it good. Me? Look at well, that. Well, I switched yeah. to wood glue. Oh, did oh, you? you? All go. right. Mm -hmm. 
If you hear me scream out a cuss <laughs> word, you know I screwed things up. Hey, I'll stop doing it. We that. have one. We, you know, we've got a quota to meet. Was that our doorbell? No. Okay. That was, I was like, my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, I was like, huh, what? I was like, why aren't the dogs going bananas? Because <laughs> they can't hear it. <laughs> Mary says, I'm sure I do proof. not have the patience for this project. That's uh, not that it's bad. It's therapeutic. Ding Would dong. you stop it? <laughs> I'm going to start barking in a minute. <laughs> oh, it's Mrs. Edgar. She got her she got her chocolate-covered strawberries. Oh, okay, cool. I got a, I got a, a, a Christmas card from Grandma Karen I still need to read. Uh, she sent a family letter along with it, so I've got to read it. Uh oh, Heather broke it. Uh oh. It was my uh -oh. it was my fault. I'm sorry. Where the heck did my mouse go? There it is. It ran. So how you liking your uh, Acer Predator laptop, Mama? Did I, I pick, love it. Did I pick a good one for you? Yeah, I love it. Yay. So far, I'm not having any trouble with it. Now I haven't. I mean, we were having oodles of issues with your Mac and. Uh, with uh, with uh, Dad's computer, but uh, this one has been flawless. I love the streams you do uh, from the farm, and uh, you, you you haven't had any problems tonight with it. No, no, no. Uh, Joyce wants to know: Couldn't you just pour the glue over the flour? Mm. For the first coat, no. I'll tell you that because I know that much. Yeah, it it kind of has to be submerged. It's almost like if you were trying to dip a wand so that you can blow bubbles with it pouring the bubble solution over the wand you're not really going to get decent results if any yeah you need surface tension so you're you're you, you got to look at it that way so by dunking it down in there and pulling it back out it's giving it a chance to actually grab onto the wire mm. you go rinse that up please of course i can what's my name Art bitch. There you go. You know how I clean that brush, Carrie? Smack the devil out of it. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. No, you That's beat really the, the devil out of it. Okay. <laughs> and you did something to the devil. Man, Heather, you need to kick your neighbors out. And in dinner, you know, di dinner needs to needs to be. It's a, it's a necessity. But, uh, you know, there's always takeout. Still gotta eat. That's take. Yeah, but... So you can't really do wire and eat at the same time. Yeah, but she was cooking, then eating dinner. She would have had half uh, more, d twice the time because she would have uh, not had to, you know, actually cook it. And she wouldn't have to clean dishes afterwards either. Yeah. Just saying, you know, trying to make things more efficient. I'm what you may call an efficiency expert. Mm. I can't see what Mama is doing. Oh, I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> she was um, text messaging. Don't yeah, text an art, Mrs. Edgar. And I'm really I can't. I can't put any more stuff on them. I put two coats on two of them, but the other three are still too wet. Well, let's make some more. Speed up drying. Can we make a nine pedal? No. A ten. Have pedal. fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> What I'd like to do, what I thought might be cool, what's that? 
<clears throat> I'm wondering if you could use this thin wire that I have and make like a whole string of petals and then coil them and try and make it look like a um, a mum or something. You might be able to with that wire. See, now we're going to turn the cameras to Ma because that sounds like a good idea. And say you've got the spool of wire. Can you show us the whole... Well, there's a... Whoop, and it just exploded. <laughs> Heather, because I took it out of the hole. It depends <laughs> on how thick the wire is. I wouldn't do any more than maybe four, or you're gonna run the risk of it snapping off. Don't. So snap. this has a slit in it right here, and some of the this is just you know craft wire. It's nothing fancy, yeah. but the bigger wire spools have um, have the holes in them, and you would just run it through the hole. And give it a little kink. Yeah. Now, even with the ones that have the slits in them, you can actually run it up one slit and down the opposite slit, and yeah. it will uh, serve the same purpose. Yeah. It just basically it creates a break, so it can't free free wheel. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be tight because you don't want to kink the wire. A kink in the slits are never good. Well, yeah, and this is dead soft wire, and what you have to remember is the more you work it, the harder it gets. Yeah. So you want to use a minimum. The problem with this is it's, to make a nice strong um, stem is going to be difficult with this. So I'm just taking out a a length. I don't know how big it is. Probably about. Hey, Adams. If inches. you're watching, please adjust the camera for mom. Uh, I don't need it adjusted. I just the, it's falling down. That's the problem. Oh, okay. I thought you just had it zoomed in. No, it is tilting. When we started, I had this in the center. Oh yeah, I can see it moving. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Crap. It's all good. <laughs> Shit happens. Popo Gijo, or whatever it is. Kakapaha? Kakapasa? Kakapasa, hey! No, we're still going. Why? What is your issue? Maybe he wants to cuddle under the fireplace. Under no, the fireplace? he wants me to go... In front. Lay down. Elevation. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you guys already like 2,000 feet above sea level? That's elevated enough. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll. Wonder what would happen if I started in the middle and worked my way out. You tried that with the necklace and it didn't work out very well. Or the bracelet. Yeah, but I'm not beating now. Still the same principle. <laughs> Start off on no, one. No, it's end. not. <laughs> I don't know. Lynn says instead of where's Waldo, it's where's Melissa? I'm right here, people. <laughs> I'm right here. So let's just take this little screwdriver here. Okay, so there's one. This is so damn thin you can't see what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, Joyce is, is yelling lying, at you. Isn't it? Joyce is yelling at she me. She says, rest Why? your leg, Melissa. I'm tired of staring at ceilings. <laughs> well, it seems like all I ever do anymore is stare at a ceiling, and I'm getting tired of it. All right, let's see now. I have a better thing for you to stare at. What? Hey, now. Back Save back. that for after the show. <laughs> I don't want to stare at the back of my eyelids. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm trying to go for is like a whole row of them. Hey, Ma, screw yes, you. Screw you. <laughs> With a and Phillips. And the horse you rode in on. <laughs> that worked pretty well. See no, you in a little bit, Wanda. She's going to take the puppies out. Can I'll you take, take the ours? puppies out. Can, can you take ours while you're at it? Yeah, well, they would take her out for a drag. <laughs> no, they've got the gentle eaters. No more pulling. That's what she said. <sighs> no, that's what he said. <laughs> All right, I'm getting all confused here now. The story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Mama's confused. These drugs, are, these damn antibiotics are really destroying me. You need the good stuff. Stuff. Oh, God, I'm so... I can't think. I have antibiotic fog. Not as good as hot boxing, but you know. Whatever. That's a size two Phillips, correct? Oh, okay. Size uh, three. I was close. That's right, Helen. She says, I love the art inspectors, Lucy and Lincoln. <laughs> yep. Heather says, mine looks like poop. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you can you can still paint the poop. You put enough glitter on it, it'll be pretty. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's sparkly poo! <laughs> and it'll make your neighbor want to really pick it up. Oh, like, oh, 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 oh. Kind of payback for their dog doing it on your front lawn for 10 years. <laughs> I've been saving this for you here. Wish our neighbors would start doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that who's making a mess out of your front lawn? Uh, no, our dogs are. Well, oh. they... Other people's dogs go in our yard all the time. Yeah. Lots Seen they smell. them do it. Yeah. Yep. Lynn just gave us an upped thumb. Thank you, Oh, that's Lynn. good. So I've got a whole pile of these things here. Focus, Dagnabbit. There we go. Oh, oh! I like that design. Avon calling. <laughs> yeah. I love how everyone listens to the producer and turns their phones to vibrate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like your f you, dear? Mm-hmm. Basically. <laughs> there are. Uh, there are a few people on this planet I do not turn off. Oh, anymore. no, I understand that. Like, the other day, I uh, took a call from Grandma towards the end of the call. See? Yeah. See? And I had to do it, too. I know, and that's fine. I'm just giving you shit, because I know you'll be yeah. gran uh, cranky about it. Yeah, and I'll dish it right back to you. Exactly! And that's why we love everybody here at Cranky Crafters. Cranky Crafters! Well, I certainly have enough petals floating around here. It's a plethora of pebbles, or pebbles, petals. Screw that line, huh? <laughs> but I'm wondering now if we could, like, spiral them upwards. <laughs> Helen says, there's a major dog repellent to keep out of your garden from uh, from pepper to strong oh. smells. Uh, see, that's the thing, though. It, it's where our dogs crap. So uh, we don't want them to be repelled. We just want other dogs to, you know, not try and mark their territory on my, ter my, my territory, you know? 
Don't crap on my crap. Yeah. That's my crap to crap on. Somehow I think this is going to be a big failure. Because how the hell do you make sure that they all get a coating on them? Ding dong. Some bitch. And now to Carrie. What about me? Ah, just seeing what you're doing. I think I might do one more. I think I think. Why for you do that? Well, the theory is <laughs> By leaving, by doing them individually, leaving, A, it gives me uh, somewhere to hold on to it. And once they're done, take and either make leaves out of them or other flowers or probably take and start building a flower like what your mom was saying it's just in a different fashion nice. so do like the bottom layer <clears throat> as the bigger petals and start making them smaller but it's probably going to get hard to attach them gotcha but you'd have to use like this is a, a nylon uh a nylon basically wire straightening pair of pliers um these don't mar the wire and you can use them to straighten your wire and if you so if you have kinks but I find that if you can take your two legs mm -hmm. right back here and latch onto them tight up against the flower bud and then twist twist the flower bud then they lock in nice and tight yeah that's what I've been doing but mine are actually individual You'd have to gather them all like that. <clears throat> at probably at different heights. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this one's really all bollocked up, but I'll see what happens when I dip it. It's got multiple layers here and multiple petals. And maybe it'll look like a little pansy or something. Let's see if I can't get this to. Rotate. Let's see. There. Now it's kinked. Now let's see if I can't just bend these a wee bit. It's kind of multi dimensional. Mm hmm. So we'll see what happens. This is not one that I can actually stick in the styrofoam, though. Hmm. Dipping away. Dip it, dip it, dip it. Don't you have glue also? You can't use Elmer's. You have to use wood glue or oh, this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> I love his dialect. I love it. And he's goofy. Take it, take it and go. No, he's, he's goofy. He doesn't say, oh, okay. He says, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Daddums. Yep. I love that man. He's furry. Take it and go. Take it and go. Take it go. Take right, it go. So. Take go. This take one didn't work. Yes, it's not take and go, it's take go. Take go. Take go. Helen says, that looks so cute, Melissa. Lots of little loops to make pretty flowers. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens to it. I have two loops that are kind of, or three loops. They're all stacked up here. And I don't... You might want to bend no. one of the leaves, or one of the, uh, the petals up a little bit, so it's like a staircase. And then deep, uh, then you'd be able to dip all three uh, independently. Yeah. And then when it dries, you can Oops. bend it back into a petal formation. Yeah, I think i got to put a little bit of space in between them. There. 
That should work. Dadums, move the camera for Mama. Did it slide again? It's really it zoomed in it. still. Oh, zoom it out. Yay. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Man, that is nice. And it looks like it got all of them. Cool. Yeah. (laughs) Adams and I are what? Joyce says, have him say particularly. Mm. Particularly. Oh. Sanjay. (laughs) Sanjay. (laughs) Come here. And then have him say comfortable. Yep. Can you say particularly? Particularly. <laughs> and comfortable. Comfortable. Is that what you were hoping for, baby? No, I was hoping you would say comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable. And what was the other one? Particularly. Well, he said that to our to our chagrin. Yes. Say it again. Particularly. Table of comfort. Table of, no, say particularly. <laughs> particularly. <laughs> you should hear him. Well, I will say aluminium. 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 That's the correct way to say it. The correct way to say it is aluminium. Aluminium, I know. But we don't even spell it the right way here. If we were to try and say it that way, it would be aluminum. When he when he's talking about an ology like uh, biology, he says biology. Yes. Oh, I say that too. I had to I had to correct him for years. He finally he finally started saying it the right way. Biology. 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 Hammeraji. Don't hammeraji. You can put one more in the tail. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just trying to crimp it so I can actually stick it in the styrofoam. That's what she said. <laughs> I wasn't even going to. I mean, I can if you really want me to. Ah, yeah, spot. <laughs> this ain't working. Hey, Jacqueline, Merry Christmas, and uh, oh. you have a wonderful day. Yeah, Thank Jacqueline. Merry Christmas. Have a great holiday. Merry Ho Ho Happy. All that. Go into the styrofoam bag, Nabbit. There. Okay, now let's see. Can this one be dunked again? Oh, yeah, it can. That one came out real crystal clear. That's on the real thin. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Real thin wire. You need to go to Wally World and get me some. Ugh. Um, kind of. <laughs> You want me to go out in my state? Maryland? Yes, sure. Maryland. Here, that's what you want. Ah. Mm. It comes pretty. in a whole pile of different colors. And then if you're on AliExpress. Uh oh. Oh, man. Oh. Ten different colors, I think. Three. For a dollar. <laughs> yeah, ten. Free shipping. Month and yep. a half later. <laughs> I, I got it pretty quick. I got it pretty quick. That. Well, we'll have to get some then. Well, I have to have some now to play with. Uh, you re- do you? Re- are, no, are you honestly? I don't mean <laughs> like right now, right now. But I would want. Oh some no! I'll go out tomorrow. Ordering. I'll, I'll get some tomorrow. Because I might end up not liking it. Either. I will get some tomorrow. Okay. Blah blah blah. Okay. Gotta go to Joanne's and get some of that paper while it's on yeah, sale. Yeah, that paper's 50% off. 
Yes. What paper? The 12 the by 12 paper? sheets. That I use for oh, my yeah. beads. Yeah. Hey, Tanya, have, have a great have... night. Hey, Merry Tanya. Christmas. Oh, Happy bye, New Year. Tanya. Um, I have several of those packs. I'll have to start using them for this. I was in the sheriff's office this morning, and they had one of those big, huge calendars. Oh, yeah. I said, ooh, I like that. <laughs> he says, I could probably dig one up. I said, no, it's okay. I'm just looking. I steal art supplies. <laughs> in a sheriff's, in the sheriff's office. office. Yep, I steal art supplies. I said, I don't care where I see them. If I like them, I take them. Heather says, should I show how hard, terrible mine are? Uh, sure. 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 I'd love to see them. Show, Just, show them in a group. Yeah, put them on the, uh, the art flock. In the uh, group or do? Art flock. Flock it to me. Flock it to me. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can... Dare I try that? Why hmm. not? Oof. We have to see this one. I will cry. We need a drum roll. Well. There we go. Some action movie. Suspenseful and such. Yeah, that one did it. I got one or more I can throw. That one's got another coat. It's probably a good Amber. thing it's cold outside. Mm -hmm. Bazinga. Bazinga. Yeah, I think that's about all I can do right now. And I just got... Oh, he's going to have a shit bit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You hear that? Someone's gonna have a shit fit. I don't want to be anywhere near it because I don't want to get poop on me. Mm. All right, it's cleaned up. All evidence removed. Oh, did you just get something on the laptop? No, no, she didn't. <laughs> There's no evidence that I did. Okay, yeah, okay, that's yeah, clean. Ah, oh, Diana said, uh, made some baby wipe flowers while enjoying the live stream today, which was a hoot as always. She said that on Facebook on the 70 Acres oh, cool. Art Studio Crafting Goddess Art Flock group. Mm. I always call it that. Yeah, sure you do. I have scrappage. Scrappage is good. So, um, I pulled out a bucket of coffee. Uh, no, a bucket of river stones that I had collected out of my stream. We have a mountain stream that runs 2,200 feet 
on our property. And it starts at the very top of the mountain. And when we get heavy rain, you can hear the boulders crashing down it. So uh, it has lots of action. So um, you trying to say something, PJ? No, no, that's fine. Oh. So I have been collecting small, small rocks, the flat ones. Um, that have been worn down, and I'm trying to polish some of them now so I can use them in jewelry. Hey, Scatter. We, we used to have a stone polisher, but we I think did. we got rid of it. Yeah, we just never, you know, never used it. Well, it was Jamie's. That's right. Yeah, we have a um, we have several of them because uh, Sanjay does reloading of ammunition, and to do that, you need a you need the tumblers um, to clean the brass okay so um so he's got several so we have an old cheap one that uses water and aggregate and it's out in the mud room churning away so we'll see what happens well cool hey carrie did you have time to open up the uh the art uh the the flock but i do have all sorts of little stones that are what to show um diana's picture um I'm sitting there looking at it. I can't help that you don't keep up with me there, producer. <laughs> These are actually geodes. And now I've got gunk on my hands. I am not touching okay. electronics at the moment. Anyway. Lori says we need to try the dot painting. Yeah, I've been wanting to do that. I can hang on a second. Let me grab some paint. Take my earplug out for a second. Can you click on what we also do? Can you wait a minute, please? Yeah. Those are really nice, Diana. I want to know how you did those. And apparently so does Lori. <laughs> okay, See? Inquiring minds, out. Diana. Inquiring minds. Multiple sized dowels. Let's see what size this makes. Scatter says, Scatter 50 says hi to Mama B. Try that color. Your mom's not listening right now. Yeah, I know. Uh, Heather, where are you posting it? Okay. What I miss? I don't know. Scatter. Yes, yeah, Scatter Fifty says hi. Hi. I don't have dowels here except for this giant one. So I have that. Hear the pop? Yes. That's a change in altitude. Uh. All my tubes will explode. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Mike. <laughs> and here it go poof. So let's see. Yeah, Heather, that's about accurate. 70 acre studio art glock hmm. art glock yep yeah. <laughs> i can't switch to that because carrie keeps minimizing it 
Switch to what? The art flock. There is more stuff to show. I did not know that, <laughs> and I can't see the chat when that's up. Well, resize it or move it over. No, then I can't see that. <sighs> Just shut up and leave me alone. You've got a 34-inch monitor, woman. Now you have to move to the bigger ones. That's the one thing you need if you want to do this. You have to keep getting more... Um, what do you call it? Dowels and all sorts of sizes. That's too light of a color, you can't see it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. I have to zoom in and look at those. Um, oh, wow. Oh, there you go. And it's on a Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dig it? <laughs> that was my go-to oh, soda no, back in the day. That's not that bad for the first try Heather. I don't think it's bad. Uh uh. I've got some that the middle of it is a little frightening, but you can cover <laughs> it up afterwards. Yeah, co uh, cover it up with a gemstone or something. You glue a uh, hot glue a little sequin or something yeah. on it. Yep. So the dot painting you just I'll have to go to Walmart tomorrow. Diana says okay. in order to do those uh, baby wipe flowers, uh, you could just basically cut circles from them and use five layers together using a daub of hot glue in the center of each uh, and then squish them together and you're <coughs> done. And then add a pretty center. And then if you want, if you want um, to really have fun with it, then you start melting them. Um, but you need the real cheap ones. I bought the from BJ's, which is a store just like Sam's or Costco. Um, and I got like 1,100 of these freaking things. Huh. Um, but they're very thick and cushy. So when I try and melt them, they don't really want to melt. So. This is very hypnotic. I've watched videos of people doing this dot painting. So I have to go get myself some more um, dowels tomorrow. That'll also come in handy for this too. I guess I got Lowe's. What you doing? Uh, someone had suggested that you know we do a video on uh, or try that dot painting. You make basically you make mandalas, but I'm not. I'm just playing right now because my hands don't want to make any more wire flowers. <laughs> Wussy. So, um, huh? Wussy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sore enough in spots. <laughs> so I'm just playing. Uh, yeah, I'm not even trying to do it correctly because I don't have the right sized dowels or anything. So. But basically, you, can, you keep working at it until you get up to this size, which is not working. So. And Kelly you says, build, you keep, are we sure we really want to go to Walmart tomorrow? It's the 23rd of December and dangerously busy. Yeah, I, oh, I might yeah, have to well. prepare for that one mentally. Oh, well, we're going out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. I have to go anyway. We have, that's where we go to grocery shopping. So yeah, we've I've started going grocery shopping there, and I found the like their their pizza better than Weiss brand. Their oh, you know what pizza I like, and I don't know if it's a southern one or not. But there's a, a pizza called Sasquatch. Yeah, that stuff is hella good, but it is oh. uh, it's not available here. Oh, it's not okay. No. So I'm just I'm just playing in paint right now. I'm just enjoying I I'm enjoying the company. I will pay you to paint slap dad. <laughs> that would not happen. 
I mean, I know Moo doesn't seem to be here right now, but... She probably passed out. She yeah, because drinking. she was drunk Moo. <laughs> drunk Moo. <laughs> drunk Moo, huh? I thought that was a southern word, Patrick. I don't know what word you're referring to, Joyce. Yeah, that metallic paint's nice. I got a I couple of different colors. We yeah, need to get more the, colors. Mm -hmm. Folk art, ice blue... And the folk art sapphire blue. Yeah. Blue it, it's sapphire. good stuff. I don't know that it's thick enough for my liking, though. If I'm going to get some kind of something like that, I would want something thicker, I would think. That on the flowers is perfect. Oh, yeah. On the flowers, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is thick. It depends on the color, though, because some colors are more transparent than others. So that might be your issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. The ice blue. I my supervisor her favorite color is blue so i one of the flowers i made for her i used the metallic ice blue yeah second coat it was opaque and it was so bright it almost looks silver more so than blue wow yeah i do love this ice blue it's one of my favorite colors yeah i have to, i i liked it so much that I forgot I had it and bought another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like uh, I think Ralphie just got uh, Helen a, a, a puppy. So now she's got a fur baby. Oh, oh congratulations, really? Helen. Oh, That's Helen. So cool. You got to oh, take my pictures God. for us. That's Helen, awesome. yes. Post pictures of the baby. Oh, that's so wonderful, Helen. Congratulations. Hey, it's happy I days. can't wait to see pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Remember this, guys? Oh, God, it's where the hell is it coming from? Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> why is it leaking? Oh, I know why. Elevation change. Oh, no. wussy. Oh. Wussy oh, is wussy. the word. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is the black with the uh, Ooh. Uh, green. The glamour mist. No, this is, yeah, well, this is the, the sparkly stuff that we made, I but know. it's the, um, <laughs> the glamour mist. Shut up. <laughs> and Lynn got some bead making tools from Etsy, and they came, and she can't wait to try it. Ooh. You go, girl. You will get a, addicted. Trust me. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting here right yeah. now thinking, all right, I need to do some more. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mom's doing something different. Why don't you get your beads out and show and tell? What is there to show and tell? They're <laughs> They're beautiful. She's got to warn us before she does stuff like that. <laughs> He's a oh, Rodella Ridgeback? Rhodesia. Oh, Rhodesia. I can't spell Rhodesian Ridgeback. Oh, my God. Those oh, are fantastic. Those are beautiful dogs. They're big they dogs. Are. Yes, they are. Yeah, they they're are strong. big. And they're solid. The owner of Northwest Charlie, that's mm -hmm. the only type of dogs they had. Oh, wow. He would bring those things in, in there. That dog would jump up, put his front paws on my shoulders, and I'm not short. And that yeah. dog would be taller than I was. I'm like, hey, big boy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing wrong with with big dogs like that is hips and uh they don't have really long lifespans yeah oh no huh mm -mm. the bigger the dog the shorter the lifespan well they're not that large i mean they're about the size of uh you know a large labrador yeah true mm -mm -mm. No, they're not the dumb dog. No, it's the dog with the, the, the little ridge on the back, the, the where the hair comes together. Yeah. Yeah. No, they get they get big. They do. I've seen two of them in my life, and they were huge. Right. I've seen I've seen several, and some of them were medium sized, some of them were larger. So there might be different different strains, but um, they were all you know purebred. Yeah. It was at a dog show, I think. Hmm. And Helen then we is were so a, distracted. <laughs> do, do you blame her? She'll probably never talk to us again. Oh, she doesn't need us now. She's got love and wet kisses. Yes. 
Yeah, Carrie is exactly correct about the lifespan. It's coming from oh, Rwanda. Yeah? What, so about seven to eight years? And Wanda would know. Se seven or eight years? She's, yes, no? She's a, she's a puppy whisperer. <laughs> you better give that puppy some big kisses, Hells. <laughs> <clears throat> You gotta let us know what what you name him. If it's a boy yeah. or a girl, I guess it's a boy because she keeps saying he. Yeah. Oh yeah, with with all the with all the vials and tubes and bottles of paint, <laughs> Heather wants me to open each bottle, squeeze a little air out, then close it. <laughs> then I'd forget which one I have because I have probably like. Four of each of these. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sharing is caring, Ma. Mm. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> these are my paper beads. That's dry. Not too many. No, not too many. Very p pretty, no. though. I think I brought... Oh, are we showing beads? I think I brought those paper beads. I can move to paper beads. Oh, I gotta okay. reach over here. You I'll be right back. Tell me twice. <laughs> okay. Did I bring? Did I bring? Not knowing. I don't think I did. But I do have magazines that I can use for paper. It's pretty sure. <laughs> Heather's like, screw the flowers, bring on the paper beads. <laughs> oh well. I actually support going on to paper beads because they are just so pretty. Anyone looking for new original ideas and content on this week's show are going to be sorely disappointed. <laughs> hey. I don't. I didn't bring my mandrel and all that. That's cheating, anyway. Where did you get your mandrel, by the way? We tried to find one yesterday, and we just had no luck. I found one on Amazon. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. CJ sent it to me. Oh, I see how it is, CJ. Ooh, he's got bright blue eyes. Ooh. Oh, does he? Oh, wow. Helen, what are you going to call him? <laughs> Helen, what's his name? Is his name Snigglefred? Oh, come on. Poopsie doodle. <laughs> no, I didn't bring my mandrel. That makes me sad. I have to go. I'm going to go try and go to Lowe's tomorrow, and I think I'll try and buy some wooden dowels and uh yeah you can make your own mandrel yeah i know even though it's cheating get you with your eyelets what are you gonna do carrie no i use that to make sure that the size is correct sure oh my god <laughs> i don't even have another don't have a knitting needle crap Oh, how many strips of paper? I'm sad. <laughs> Throw that over there. Let's see if I can reach a magazine. Why 
want to take this time to remind you guys, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Be sure to like and uh, and subscribe and all that good jazz and hit that bell. Ring Carrie's bell because she likes it that way. Yes. And uh, that way you can be notified when uh, Carrie puts out new jazzy material. And uh, on that note, uh, thanks for being awesome for already subscribing. And be sure to subscribe to 70 Acres Studio on, uh, on on the tube of views as well. Don't want to forget that, because Mama is amazing. Don't forget about me. Don't so you, you, you forget play about beads. me. What now? You play with your beads, I'm going to play with my junk journal. I'm, I can't do that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could. I, I, yeah, but that wouldn't get us kicked <laughs> off real fast, would it? <laughs> Let's see. This I, I is... traumatize everyone here, <laughs> <sighs> myself included. <laughs> oh dear! Desperately trying to fix this camera. Yes, it's it's a uh, new wave, very new wave, mother. The camera angle, beautiful. <laughs> new wave. Yes. What the hell? So uh, avant garde. Bite me. The angle is amazing. It really yeah, adds yeah. a new dimension. Okay. Let's see. Where can I spray some stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like rubbing that butt when we're not looking? It's so cute. <laughs> Don't let Dadum see you rubbing that thing. Mm. Oh, please. <laughs> he can come rub it, too, if he wants. Whoa. Definitely not appropriate for the uh, show. Why was it? I didn't hear it. I did not hear it. What the hell? Heather is searching Amazon for brain bleach. What brain bleach? Is she like Dexter? Like, why the hell do you have brain that you're trying to bleach? No, she's trying to erase the memory of, of the uh, naked oh, little butt yeah, I yeah, had. Oh, yeah, yeah, Gotcha, gotcha. Or the thought of uh, PJ playing with his jewels on camera, or his beads on camera. Dryer! Yes, I really do need some sun. Not you. <laughs> how are you doing, Arlena, by the way? Hello, Arlena. How are you? <laughs> oh, my God. She's only 12. Oh, good luck. Let's see. What color is this? Ooh, bronze. Bronze. I prefer Braytoven. You prefer Braytoven yeah. other than bronze? Dryer! Son of a... That's what she said. Jeez. Oh, mm. Tanya says uh, she found 20 gauge wire, but it says 8 millimeter, 6 millimeter, or 4 millimeter. Which does she get? I have nothing to know. So, now, can she say that again, please? In other words, read it again. Alrighty then. Diana says. No, no not Diana. Tanya. Heather. Yeah, 20 Tanya. gauge wire. One okay, of these people eight. says. Uh, I found 20 gauge wire, but it says 8 six or four millimeters which one then it's not buy? 20 gauge 20 gauge is a specific millimeter size let's see if i can tell you uh hang on a sec I'm good. yeah i was looking at mine too i don't see anything like that on there this is 22 gauge I think the uh, the the millimeter sizes are uh, going to be thicker gauge. I think here. Oh. Twenty-two. Oh wow! 
Yeah. Is uh, point 0.64 millimeter. So, millimeter. Yeah. So the the four, six, and eight millimeter are going to be extremely thick. So you want to not get those because they're going to be yeah. hell on your fingers. This is twenty gauge. And I'm trying to see if I can find another one of those packages. Yeah, that's 24 gauge. And the 24 gauge is 0.51 millimeter. Um, let's see. 18 gauge is 1.02 millimeter. So if you're using this for flowers, I would not go under 20. If you're using it to make jewelry, 20 is the normal starting uh, place. But then you're wrapping with like 24 or 26 gauge. If you're making something really, really beefy, then you might want to try uh, 18 gauge. Good night, so Helen. Night Enjoy Helen. the puppy. Get some snuggles. Good night, Helen. <laughs> Yeah, so essentially you want to keep it under one millimeter. Anything thinner than one millimeter should work. Dryer. Son of a... I don't have the reaction time because I have to make a click click. It's not on the board. Wanda says, is the 20 gauge referring to the size beads you can put on it because of the bead mm. hole size? Mm -hmm. uh, no. no, it's the it's it's an alternate way of uh, uh, no, notating dimension uh, or thickness. You can go gauges or millimeters. Uh, it really depends. I don't know why they don't just keep the gauge system working. Uh, you know, because like zero gauge is like really thick and then you've got 12 gauge, 16, 20 all the way up. But, um, yeah, I don't know why they mix and match between millimeters and, uh, and gauge size. Pull out a glue stick or two. Heather's Mod Podge won't open. That sounds like a personal problem. Uh. Lynn wants to know, I... Melissa, are you streaming Sunday night? I was planning on it. Um, it's Christmas Eve, so I know you know a lot of folks will be busy. But um, I'll watch. I'll watch. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. So yeah, I'll do it. Now I next Wednesday we might not stream Carrie and me. Uh, I'll try and get back in time. But I am taking my son and his girlfriend to Baltimore City that day. And uh, depending on how late we stay, we might uh, do dinner before I bring them back. So, okay. But I'll try well, and get back fun. by 7.30. I did not get a chance to finish his painting. Gotcha. I gotta go grab a glue stick. Yeah, Arlena has a good point. Gauge is American millimeter. Uh, uh, or gauge is American millimeter is uh, the, the metric system. Everywhere gauges. else. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, the problem that I've seen is the same brand of wire will go from gauge to millimeter. And it really screws with you because it's not like uh, it's different series or anything like that. Christmas Eve. It's the, you know, it's the same brand, same line, just a different size. Yeah, I normally stream on Sundays. Okie doke. I'm not dressing up as an elf. Dream on. <laughs> Look at your fantasies on YouTube. Or something. <laughs> okay, so I have some magazines. Oh, that's cute. Can you all see that? There I can. I know. I'll make it bigger. Bella Vita. That's kind of cute. What's on the back? Oh, ain't she cute? 
So what? I still like it. This one. I will cut this out. And stick it somewhere. I know where you can stick it, Ma. In your junk journal. Yep. That's where it's going. Did you ever get that other junk journal made for someone? Uh, I did, but I haven't had an opportunity to mail it yet. You gotcha. know, falling and going in the hospital, kind of. Oh, I, I hear you there. Yeah, um, we'll use that as an excuse, too. Uh, you know, you falling and going into the hospital prevented Carrie and I from mailing out the happy mail that we've got to mail I out. Fell. I fell. I know. Yeah, she fell I in the wanted, bathtub. I wanted to join the club. <laughs> I she, felt she, left out. She really tried to get some algae in there, but it just didn't stick. <laughs> I don't know what it was that caused the infection. Could have been any number of things. So let's see what we have. Head games, and we got this little blue thing. Let's continue. <laughs> I'll make it bigger. What's on the back? Oh, ain't she cute? Mm. <laughs> oh. Heather, you're a perv. Mm. Mm. And that's why she's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like Heather. Lori says, are we finishing the wire flowers? Uh, we're waiting for them to dry, actually. I mean, I have dry ones, but I don't feel like getting pink now. <laughs> You're such a punk. I know. She's too fixated. She keeps making more. Well, now she's on to beads. She doesn't want to stop. Like yeah, you, I, you I, can't I, stop the bum rush. I have issues with starting like thirty things. And yeah, I do that too. I know you're quoting us, Heather, but we said it innocently. You said it because of... Hey, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, you gotta wait for him to fall asleep and take that thing out of his room. <laughs> Do I want to know what thing? <laughs> that board of yours, the soundboard. Oh, yeah. I kind of like those colors. Art has no rules. Well, that's a rule in and of itself. Rule number one, no rules. No rules. Second rule of art club, no one talks oh. about art club. No, that's the first rule. Jeez. <laughs> Haven't I taught you anything, for heaven's sake? <laughs> well, why don't you beat yourself up over it? Oh, shoot, spoiled it. Smack you upside the head. I'll smack you inside of next week. Uh, can you make it Thursday? No. Well, just not yeah. Tuesday, because i got to go back to work Tuesday, and I don't want to remember that. Yeah, I don't want to go back to work either. But uh, guess what, guys? Guess what? what? Guess what? 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 As of right this very second, people, I have exactly 12 days left of employment. Hot stuff. 12. Hot 12. stuff. 12 days, people. Whatever will you do? So you go back oh, Tuesday and then you're off Wednesday? Yeah, I go off because I had to take off when you threw your back I out. I didn't tell you to take off. Y well, you couldn't walk, so... Oh, well, that's... <laughs> so I, like I, the cat yeah. said to the kittens, uh, tough titty, right? Oh, God. Tough titty, oh. said the kitty. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going back Thursday and then I am off Wednesday and... Uh, I'm sorry, going back Tuesday and then I'm off Wednesday and Thursday and uh, then I go back Friday. And then I go back Tuesday again, because, you know, New Year's Day. Lynn says, you guys crack me up. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. So happy we could oblige. Oh, so baby. I don't know why. I just like oh. these colors. Oh, they're, no, they're nice. They're cute. They're cute. So they could be stuck somewhere, like maybe on there. Stick her somewhere else. Heather says, 
when the milk ram dry, Carrie. <laughs> this exactly. is a glue stick, people. That's what she said. Well, I hate glue mm -hmm. sticks. Yeah, glue sticks never seem to work for us. But then again, we don't we don't do junk journaling. What? He needs to get called up. <laughs> Wait, to bring us back to the past. What are you gluing together? I'm trying to fix the Titanic. Hey, honey, would you like a cocktail? No. All right. Oh. Man, this thing is, this is a big glue stick. It's a nice size. It's an impressive size. It's impressive. Now let's just hope it sticks. You're shutting the tumbler off? I don't have small credit cards here. I need something to squeegee. So has Helen abandoned us with her puppy? Well, yes. wouldn't you? Well, yeah. I'd still be torn, but... Mm. I need some green paint. Yeah, I really hate blue sticks. Yeah. I hate them. But then, then again, like I just said, we don't do junk journaling either. Tracy said that's what she said. Mm. <laughs> Probably not about what I just said, but something earlier. Alright, so there's been something glued stuck there. And this is blue, so maybe we could do this. Head games! Who else likes Foreigner out there? I like Foreigner. I like some other stuff. I lost my glue stick. As big as that is, I know, you right? can't find it. Seriously, where the hell did it go? It went with your Mars black. Oh, here it is. I found that. Oh, did I found you? It. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it was still in the it was still in the crate from uh, my last trip down here. Oh. I never unpacked it. So of course I couldn't find it. So, I left my uh, office today and I forgot my van. It's just gone. I lost it. Oh dear. It's about the same thing. Now I am going to be on a search for things that are blue that will go with this little blue critter. Blue eyes. Baby's got blue eyes. Name the artist. Sing it. Name it. Oh, he gave me blue. Okay. Uh, like a the Elton. Ah, Carrie got it. Yeah, my brain is not working. I was thinking of Elvis, but I knew it wasn't him, so I kept my mouth shut. That sounds like puppies. Yeah, gotta enlist Jamie to take him out because Lincoln's being a whiny little. Lincoln burble. has to go pee pee. Hey, and Scatter wants to know if you can sing like Steve Perry. Oh man, I'd have to sing really loud for that. I mean, I'm, I'm no Filipino kid. <laughs> I need other things of blue to go with this. I'm blue. Do da be do 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 da do. Yeah. 
No, Steve Perry was uh, Journey. I know. Yep. I don't know that I could actually do Steve Perry's voice any justice. But I could try. I just don't get this. <laughs> Is she eating it? Or? Hey, she's hungry! <sighs> you know I actually did some singing, right? Well, screaming. Yeah, you did on, uh, what's his name, song. Yeah, I did it on, uh, Brian's from Cyrenic. I actually heard it. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it live and in person. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> over Not and impressed. over again. <laughs> <laughs> Until he could get the screen just right. Yeah. I need just the right kind of blue picture. That's kind of blue. <laughs> Here, Lucy, hey. yawn. Yeah. yeah. She's Bre Doing Brenda keeps hat. saying she's going to put me in a bubble. Who what? Brenda keeps saying she's going to put me in a bubble. So I don't get hurt. That's a bubble. And it's kind of blue. But I don't want to use it. Moving on. Sing for us, Patrick. <laughs> Joyce, why? <laughs> I mean, if you really want to hear me sing, I'll give you a link. play the whole song. Well, no, we don't need to hear the whole song. Well, but people might want to hear. Yeah, but it's still somebody else's song. Yeah, but it's it's not copyright. His version isn't. Yeah, but that's his version which is a no, no, redo yeah. of somebody yeah, else's yeah. song. All right. Oh, you idiot. He can be. Hey. <laughs> well, the link is in the chat room if you guys want to uh, take a listen to that song. Uh, I did the screaming part at the end of it. Makes mama so proud. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I know how to scream? <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> that would have been funny, but no. <laughs> <laughs> So she's kind of strange. She is, yes. You should have the girl eating the uh, lipstick on the other side. <laughs> I'm just looking for something that says blue. I just want to fill this page with blue shit. Well, I've heard if you eat a lot of food, die. Mm. Uh huh. You can sing anything without music. Um, okay, yes, I, I technically that is correct. Mary had a little lamb. Little lamb, little lamb. At least you can sing on key. I really can't, though. It's bad. It's a struggle. I'm tone deaf. So is Sinatra. Yeah, but he had blue eyes. He got away with <laughs> blue eyes. <sighs> I need some blue, blue poop. Stuff. <laughs> blue pretzels? Yeah. I've never had a blue pretzel. I've had a chocolate covered pretzel. Mm -hmm. Would you care for a chocolate covered pretzel? Mm -hmm. Ay, 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 ay. What'd mm -hmm. she say? There's blue, but I don't like anything on the page. It's getting hot in here, Sanjay. Do you have the wood fire going? Yeah, he's got the wood the wood Ooh. fire going. 
The wood stove. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, if guys remember back around Thanksgiving when I was down here. Yeah. I. Oh. It cracked. It cracked. It hadn't changed much since. No, but you could put it in the fire. I don't care. Burn the sucker. We don't it's need a, no a, water. Let the mother sucker burn. Burn, mm. mother sucker. Burn. Come on. Give me a pen. No, I'm not the lead singer, Lynn. You have to go to the end of the uh, the song to hear my part. I'm like the last ten seconds. <laughs> it's blueberries. I like what you're doing with those beads. Thank you. It didn't sound... Well, no, the singing part wasn't. The screaming part at the end was. Yeah. I think you should really stop the show. Please. Please. You need to give it like a break. Sanjay, stop. I can't stop. <laughs> he can't stop till he gets enough. How is, your, is it still losing? I don't know. I haven't looked at it. Sure. Come look at it. <laughs> and roofie him in three, two. Really grown in size. I mean, no. No, it hasn't. I mean, this diameter. No, it hasn't. There he goes with his diameter. Much harder than it was. Did you take any water pills? No. I'll take them before I go to bed. He does it because he cares, Ma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Melissa's. God, that's so rude. Jeez. <laughs> oh, uh, Wanda I'm said I didn't think that sounded like PJ either. <laughs> It sounded like it might have hurt a little. No, actually, it didn't. I told him when he was doing when he was recording it that it sounded like he was constipated and trying to poop. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, I think I can play like ten seconds of it. Heather says, okay, <laughs> we need to do an exorcism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had a demon in his butt. That's oh. what it sounded like. Too many tacos. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Oh, good stuff. I didn't hear it. Uh, you won't. Oh, well, gee, what good is that? Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Um. And Lori, he didn't get paid. He did it as... I did it as a favor. Because he's in a bromance with the lead singer. He's my buddy. Liar. (laughs) 
<laughs> Scatter says you're disturbed. <laughs> 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 Push, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you need to show them how red your face is now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh God, yeah. Uh, Lynn's talking about how she loves the uh, the 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 band Disturbed. I loved yes. their cover of um, "Hello Darkness, My Old Friend." Yeah, that song from uh, Simon <gasps> and Garfunkel. He's also done Elton John and now, uh, who he, else? Is I don't know. He's done Genesis. He did Land Genesis. of Confusion. Yes, that was epic. Yeah, but no, the, the the Simon and Garfunkel song that they that they covered, that's like their best song ever. I love his voice. Yeah. It, Sound of Silence, yeah. And, uh, yeah, dryer. you know, if you guys... A dryer. It, a dryer, yes. Uh, there we go. And if you guys like uh, really good singers like that that are on the heavier side, the band Five Finger Death Punch is also an amazing band. And they did, uh, they covered uh, Bad Company. From, well, Bad Company. To the sounds. <sighs> so, Carrie, mm -hmm. what are you up to? Oh, look, same thing. Shut up. Hey, no, I love the, your beads. He ain't bad to look at either. Well, if you like, uh, if you like, uh, you know, big fangs going through the the, the bottom of the lip, because he's got that piercing. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. that's disturbed. That's like every disturbed song ever. <laughs> Heather says, "Liar!" <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do some more. Like there was some like like accompanying vocals that could have used it, but he wanted to keep it simple. Oh, cool! Scatter says uh, they they love both of those brand, uh, bands, <laughs> and she's an old broad. Hey, I like, I, I like old broads. I like Brian. Oh, I like Ceramic. But all of his songs sound the same. Yeah, yes, Carrie I've says been that telling too. him that for years, and he just doesn't get it. No, I get it, but... Not you, Brian. Uh, he doesn't get it. You know, everything falls. Now that's good. Oh, uh, well, they're both very, very good bands. Yeah. yeah I love Aaron different. and Mandy. They are such an awesome couple. Oh, my God, I love those. And Emmerbug. Oh, yes. yeah. He just turned a year, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. They named their son Emerson after Emerson. Like Lake and Palmer, Palmer, yeah. Tracy says, I like Metallica. See, I like... I like Metallica. I like Metallica until the Black Album. The Black Album was their last great album. And, like, I mean, Killer All and Justice... Or, uh, Kill Em All and Justice For All. Um, the Master of Puppets. Like, oh, man. Uh, Ride the Lightning, I think, is my favorite 80s era uh, album and it's just such a great I mean the Call of Cthulhu like that's such a great song but see I like old school bands like that like we used to call it acid rock yeah 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 like yeah like, like Metallica Guns N' Roses uh, Motley Crue yeah um, Iron glam. Butterfly oh Iron Butterfly that was psychedelic ma yeah I know but I liked it and I got a DeVita baby mm. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that's my Iron Butterfly impression. But now they have Load and Reload, and I loaded in my pants, and, like, all these commercial, like, wannabe sellout albums, and I just can't get into it. I don't know. I don't like that. No. And I like Mountain. Oh, Mount! <laughs> I've seen them, Mississippi. I have, I have uh, drumsticks from them. Oh man, Corey. I am so jealous. 
I'll still always remember our our concert, uh, Jethro Tull at Music Fest. That was oh, epic. Yeah. Carrie That's is great. not an, a, a, a fan of Jethro Tull. She can't stand I his voice. Tull. We've seen him several times. We've seen him three times, didn't we? Uh, no, we we were going to see him three uh, three times. We saw them, Twice. and then we saw Ian play in yes, Baltimore. Yes, we saw yeah Baltimore. Yeah, that and that was, was like uh, like acoustic Jethro Tull acoustic, songs. Acoustic, yeah, yeah, that was good. And I love the cello player he has on staff. Oh, she was oh amazing. My God. An Indian girl. And and there was a a guy that played guitar. He was from she was from Germany. Yeah. He was amazing. Oh, he yeah. just blew my brains out, boy. <laughs> but you knew... Uh, you, uh, hold on. Heather says, I'm in Mississippi. What? No, Mississippi Woman. It's a song from Mountain. Or Mississippi Queen. There you go. Mississippi Queen, yeah. Um, but uh, you know who uh, Carrie and I went and saw uh, like two or three years ago that absolutely blew my freaking head off? What? Sticks. <gasps> yeah, yeah. No, we saw we saw sticks, and oh my god! The only bad part about it was Dennis DeYoung wasn't there. Wasn't? Oh, no, he no. was. No, they have a new singer. No, no, no. Dennis DeYoung is the guitar player, isn't he? No. Okay. Dennis oh, DeYoung the is this keyboard, keyboard player. Okay. No. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't think it was Dennis DeYoung. Then. Hold on, let me check the Sawyer DVD. or whatever. Tommy Sawyer. Tommy Fontmarler. He's still there. But Dennis the young one there, and I like him. I don't know where my sticks DVD is. There it is. <coughs> All right, let's see. For the first time in their illusions career, sugar by sugar man, over there. I do not know. We have a Blu-ray of the Grand Illusion and Pieces of Eight tour that is fantastic. And, um, yeah, it was, it, it's Tommy Shaw on yeah. guitars uh, and vocals. I and it uh, it's Tommy something. It's James Young on guitar and vocals. Uh, let's see, Lawrence Gowen is keyboard and vocals. Todd... Suckerman is uh, drums and percussion. Ricky Phillips is bass guitar, backing vocals on electric guitar, and Chuck Panazzo is bass guitar. Oh, so, yeah, we're looking at uh, James Young. Yeah, Lynn, I wanted to go to the 50th anniversary tour so badly. Uh, we went to the 40th anniversary tour. Uh, it was the 40th anniversary of um, their first album, I think. I don't know. Ma, what was it? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I think Kelly was... I, I think Kelly had just gotten into, like, Middle school? Yeah, it was, no, I think it was 2007 or 2008, so that would have made it their uh, their 40th anniversary. Okay. So, wow, that was 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. Doesn't seem that long ago. Actually, yes, it does. Yeah. think how far Carrie and I have come. Think how far you and Carrie and I have come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had a rocky, rocky road there, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> Talk about beginning. cats fighting. <laughs> it wasn't until you started doing mixed media that she started like, hey, wait a minute. Maybe I shouldn't kill her just yet. <laughs> and now you she guys may are be thick useful as yet. I mean, she started now, watching your videos death. and she's she just and I'm 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 watching them and you know, I look over and she's watching them. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? I kinda did one of these. What's this? What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> and uh yeah i mean the rest is history you guys are like you guys would kick me out and go live together in art yeah she'll have a permanent table at my studio <laughs> <laughs> oh you're gonna pop my blue things aren't you art inspector all right all right all right oh i think i just knocked beads over oh no things i do for puppies Come on. 
well, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> oh. oh no, she's up there. <laughs> is she on your lap? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> Don't lick the eyelets. <laughs> but they're crunchy, Daddy. <laughs> Is Lucy. There's that nose. I see a nose. There's that goose goose. <laughs> <laughs> She's licking the mic. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. I hear it. <laughs> I love that nose. Yeah. It's gotten darker as she's gotten older. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, this girl, guess what it is? She looks like white satin. Nights in white satin. <laughs> never go. knowing the end. Letters are written. Never meaning to camera. send. You like it and I love you. Oh, I love you. Dave's taking your camera time. <laughs> No, I, I haven't mentioned fans. before that I love the Moody Blues. I blame you for this, Mother. Yes, you should. Glitter! It's pretty bad when you can have a pit bull sit on your lap. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, mommy can't make beads with you sitting here, right? She's like, don't care. He's, That's fine by me. Your butt's slipping. There you go. It's glamour mist. Yep. Glimmer. Keep, keep saying that glim glamour. And I'm gonna I know, I know, you. I know. <laughs> Dryer. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Ah, oh, Heather's got a blue nose mix. Nice. Pitbulls really are the awesomest. Uh, you have a dog. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Thick as thieves. Lincoln is saying hi to me. Yes. Yeah, same here. Well. Well. Well, Lucy didn't used to have a problem with it, but she saw me try and do Lincoln's, and he's a big wussy, and she saw that he didn't like it, and she said, well, I guess I don't like it either. So. Yeah. I use um, I use a Dremel on, on Rosie. It's less traumatic than the, the nail cruncher. She, does, she seems okay with that, but she still doesn't like it. Heather's dog is apparently a Trekkie. It howls to the intro music of Deep Space Nine. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's nothing. Mine howls to the intro for Doctor Who. Really? No, not really. I wish. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Linky. Come here. Yes, Linky. <laughs> old man. Yeah, he's an old man. Poor old man. He's got arthritis. Oh. Arthritis in the joints. You left a lot of your fur behind your heart. 
Oh. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end it for the night. All right. Well, I guess we'll be ending it along with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting pooped. I'm going to go lay down and uh, go to sleep. And tomorrow I'm going to go get some supplies because I obviously left a lot home. All right. Uh, I'm going to get myself some dowels. So I can do some of that uh, dot painting, and maybe I will do that. I'll practice um, tomorrow, and then, um, what do you call it, uh, do it maybe on Sunday. I'll come up with some patterns. So I need to get some dowels. I want to get some, um, what do you call this, mandrels for wire wrapping. I'm going to go to Lowe's and get different sizes of uh, welding wire. Gotcha. Well, then, uh, just like Lori says, it's been fun, y'all. It sure has, yeah. Yeah, thanks for everybody hanging out with us. Thank you much. I'd like to take this time to remind you guys, like the video if you like it, thumbs down it if you don't like it, be sure to uh, subscribe and hit that bell, and uh, hey, if you've got any ideas for future episodes of Epiphany Craft or Cranky Crafters, uh, drop a comment down below and uh, we'll add it to our list. Anything else from you guys? Thanks for hanging out with us and everybody have a great rest of your weekend. Don't get caught in the shopping frenzy and we'll see y'all on Sunday. Yeah, we'll see. I'll see you on Sunday. So, All right. Later, have a taters. good one, guys. Love you. Later, taters. Good night, ladies.